Yo, what's up, people? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. My name is George Achille, and today we've got FA Cup action, Tottenham versus Wickham. We are away, and my dad will be joining me very, very, very soon. Um, I just sent him the link, so hopefully he gets here any minute now. But I hope you're all doing well. Obviously, some interesting news today. Frank Lampard getting sacked by Chelsea. A lot of them saying it's a little bit premature. Um, others saying, I mean, it shouldn't have happened in the first place of him getting the job. But either way, it's happened now. And it's looking like Thomas Tuchel is going to Chelsea because he will be the manager probably, I imagine, announced tomorrow or at some point this week. But the focus for us today is Wickham Wanderers. I had a little bit of the thumbnail curse, which, to be honest, I wasn't expecting Kane to play, but both Kane and Adebayo Akinfema are on the bench for both sides. But I will run through the teams very quickly, actually. Let me just sort out. Let me just get the lineups up here from their Twitters. My dad will be here very soon. I sent him the link. I do not know where he is right now. We'll also have Mich is going to be on this week as well. He'll be joining, he said, in about 20 minutes' time, probably just before kickoff. Um, right, let me get the team's lineups out for you guys so you guys can see. But let me know, guys, your predictions for the game today, starting at 7.45 UK time, which is obviously in about just under half an hour's time. Right, let me save that. As we wait for people to arrive as well. Come on, people, make sure to share and like the stream while you're here. It cost you nothing. I want to see how quickly we can get to 200 likes on this channel. All right, saving jazz. Let's just get the Wickham line up. I'll finish my work. It's been a bit of a rush getting this all sorted. Um, right. Yeah, people, let me know how, how you're feeling. Right, line up there. Damn, 20 years ago, Wickham were in the semi final of the FA Cup, lost to Liverpool by the looks of things. Right, okay. Here we go. I'm seeing a lot of decent predictions in there. Just running through the lineup now, and I will do it again closer to the time. We'll start with the Wickham one. There you go. Alstop, Grimmer, Jacobson, Wheeler. That depends. Uche, Ik, Piazu. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Bloomfield, Josh Knight, Musque, Thompson, Onya Dinma, um, and Jason McCarthy, in which I believe, yeah, you see Akinfem was on the bench there. That's the one that most, most Spurs fans will probably recognize in that lineup. But then we move on to the Spurs one which is 10 changes. Davis is the only one that started the last match. Uh, with Joe Hart in goal, we've got a back four of Tanganga, Sanchez, Toby, and Davis. Um, Winks and Sissoko in midfield. I imagine Lamella in front of them will have Bale on the right mid, Lucas on the left mid, and Vinicius up top. And I'll just move this banner just so you can see the bench. We've pretty much got all the first team on the bench, except for Dyer. And uh, who was the other one? Dyer and Lloris. So Gazaniga, Aurea, Rodon, Region, Hoybjerg, Undombele, Bergvan, Son, and Kane make up the bench. So that is the lineup for Spurs today. And I say this every game, but that's because every game I want it to be true. I hope that um, Bale can have a good game today and get on the score sheet now that he's starting and hopefully can get involved a little bit more. All right, Mickey. Hello, hello. Hey, people. Uh -huh, I can hear you. What's happening? Yeah, good, good. Sorry I'm late. I, uh, the clock in our kitchen is five minutes slow by the looks of it. Well, that explains it then, because you're four minutes late to the stream. Three minutes, and then I walked in here. Well, hold on. So my comments aren't loading, which is really annoying now. Um, but yes, I've just gone through the lineup. I don't know if you, how much of that you saw. But I'll do that no. again closer to kick off. I think the main thing that we spoke about before the stream was the fact that Toby out of Virod now seems to be somewhat of a yeah, second, second. second team player because in the past few, quite a few games, he hasn't really started the big ones and played probably more minutes in the FA Cup than he has done um, in the Prem. Obviously now, I don't know what the situation there, he could be favouring Rodon with Dyer for Thursday against Liverpool or he'll be doing what he did against Sheffield United and playing the back three of Dyer, Rodon and Davis. I just wonder if it's something about 
um, contract talks. Um, I think there was something in the. What do you mean? Only signed, only signed a new contract last year, last summer. There's no new contract. Sure there was some mention time. of him wanting to move on. Um, but crazy, crazy. There shouldn't be any issues there. And he's been playing a lot anyway. So I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. I can't understand it. I can't understand it. It's good news for Rodon. Because it looks it like is. he'll be in the starting lineup for Liverpool. Now, now oh. it looks like he's uh, getting. Uh, to be fair, he hasn't. Con he's bet. What is he conceded? Like one goal since he uh, every, since he's been playing. Yep. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, he actually turns out to be a pretty decent player, and he might actually fix the aerial issues that we have because he's a very tall and also yeah. very quick centre back. So I'm hoping he does solve a lot. Anyway, of more importantly, do you like the T-shirt that's very similar to the tracksuit you got me? Well, let me see. Got that from the Spurs website. So it's oh, the same kind of, yeah, same, same kind of thing as that tracksuit top you got me. Well, a little well, bit different, but... Kind of. It's, it's got a nice top to it, too. Oh, without, okay. the, without the... It's all right. It's all right. Um, I 25 quid from the Spurs it. shop. Tottenham what's right? Well, speaking of what we were saying, someone here, Mindaug is saying Rodon's our best centre-back at the moment. So no one wants to say Dyer. Matches we all know Dyer's got the mistake in him. That's BT the trouble. Sport. It's on BT Sport. That's what uh, the match is on BT Sport One. Oh, we're gonna oh we we'll synchronize once the game starts, won't we? When we can look yeah, at sadly I'm, I'm watching it on BT Sport on my fire stick, and annoyingly it's just like delayed by like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So that reminds me, I'm gonna turn my notifications off now before uh, that's a good point. Do I have them on? Doubt I've got them. Who knows? Right, I hate being behind because now that means that like some of chat's going to know what's happened before we do, which is annoying me. But it is what it is. We'll, we do what we can do. So we're seeing the... Uh, oh, Deli Ali thinks it's 2-1 to Wickham. Come to our chat. Oh, chat. Really hard, I just saw that. <laughs> oh, people, let's get your predictions in right now. Uh, uh, pr that probably is a real Deli Ali. <laughs> yeah, actually, since he's not in the not in the squad. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, we're interested to see Tanganga right back. Let's just see how how good he is. Doherty just hasn't done it for us this year. Well, Tanganga um, was good so right far. last year, so I'm hoping. But when he when he filled in the future, yeah. maybe he can again. Adabayo Akin Femwa on the bench. My mate, my friend. That How I'm is he? To. Is he? Yes. Oh, he's gonna love it. He'll, he'll be jumping on the interviews if they manage to turn us over, won't he? Oh, of course he will. Of course he will. Especially being a Liverpool fan, he'll love it. Yeah. Let's hope we don't give him a chance. So, what can you tell me about Wickham, George? Have you done your homework? Well, they were in the semi-final 20 years ago against Liverpool. Uh -huh. The fact that we played against them 4-3, that was a stressful one at the lane. I remember going to that one. And I think that was when Akin Femmer was last there as well because he was playing for them at the time. Then I think he left and then came yeah. back. So that was a bit of a madness and quite stressful. What, what was that at that time? I think that was the... Was that the quarterfinal? Was that before or after Millwall? One of them was before, one of them was after. I remember we built Millwall 6-0 or something. I can't remember yeah. if that was before or after this know. one. One of them was the quarter. One of them was like the last 16 or whatever it is. Um, but that was at well, home. What division are they in? What division are they in now? What's that? What division are they in now? Championship. That was their... their, their the championship. Well, was, so what come... division are they in now? Huh? What are they in now? What's Let me it? hear you one more time. What are they in? What have they just done? What are you talking about? Promotion to the championship. championship, man. Yeah, that was the first time in... championship. First time ever, isn't it? Okay, that's a poor, poor, poor impression because I can't remember what you were saying. But yeah, I don't know what. I you're, I don't what you're, I don't <laughs> His know interview what you're... where they got promoted, man. Oh, oh. Right, let me just hear. Yeah, you. for some reason, some say reason one you... more time. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow, for some reason, an, an old white man doesn't pull it off. Pull off the same way Akin Fenwa does. So you don't think so? <laughs> that's why it was a bit confusing. Can't lie. <laughs> 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 only the last in the championship. I mean, to be they've been shocked with COVID recently, which is the only I think yeah. they only just not managed to be able to do this game given the the quarantine rules or 
Well, I mean, they'll be able to do the game, but they would have had to put out a pretty weak side otherwise. I think they're um, they, they've done they've done well to get the team out that they have. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah he's gonna still come can't on. make the team. He's coming on in like he said he'll come on in twenty minutes while he's in the car or something like that, and then imagine maybe coming on later. So we'll see how long he'll be in for. He might be back properly for the second half to actually watch it, but he'll be in soon. He'll be in soon. No, that should be good. No should worries, Adam. I appreciate it anyway. Yeah, I was saying the thumbnail thing again. Got Adam, uh, Akin Fenwar and Kane on the bench as I put them in my thumbnail. Oh, so the, obviously. Cur the, the curse is back. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be fair, I knew Kane wasn't going to do it. It wasn't going to play anyway, but yeah, I, I, hope, I, think I was hoping Akin Fenwar would. I was hoping Akin oh, well, I would have expected you to put Bale on there. Nah, big old Kane. I've known Kane for a while. Um, I'll do bail, bail for the for the Europa League match. Hopefully, we see a decent Gareth Bale today. Yeah, I said that just before you came chance. in. Um, we seem to say it every time he starts or plays, but we actually really do need to start seeing it soon, which otherwise would be really a bit annoying if he does a crack. He needs again. to stop playing safe all the time. He, he well, seems I'm to be doing a lot of control, square in it. We don't want another Harry Winks. We want... Yeah, I want him to. I want him to bang it in from thirty yeah. yards out, like cut in on his left and shoot. But we haven't seen any of that, which is annoying. Really annoying. Hotspur Nation. I'll show the lineups just before kickoff. We ran through it at the start of the stream. <laughs> Deli Ali saying he'll come back better. Things we love to hear. Things we love to hear. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the the stories. I wasn't yeah, offended. It was a joke. I got it. I got the joke. Don't worry. But just let me know if you want fries with that. <laughs> it is very funny, to be fair. Either that or you're trying to sell me an insurance scam. One of the two is the way it seems to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gets a bit in from Carl. Yeah, I think that's that's more of a summer job. I don't think we're buying anyone in this window. Even if, very quiet, even if even if we loan out Delhi, we can only get a um, homegrown player to replace him anyway. So yeah. who's that going to be? So it's a bit. It's going to be probably one of the deadest windows ever. The fact that the biggest thing that's happening and the biggest talking point is Arsenal getting a five-month loan with no option to buy on a on a Norwegian supposedly wonder kid who was wonder kid at sixteen and is now twenty-two and hasn't proven anything yet. Um, kind of shows how crap this window has been. Yeah, yeah. There's been more movement with managers than there has been with players. So <laughs> there's a bit of a very, and very... Have you touched window. on that one today? Uh, I did a little bit, yeah, the start right at the beginning. Then the big news with, um, obviously, Frank Frankie Lampard getting sacked. Yeah. And looking like Thomas Tuchel is going to take his place. Pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, I was pretty shocked at how bad his win percentage was when you compare to previous Chelsea managers. Um, yeah. And that, I think only AVB was worse. <laughs> so everyone else has over 60% win rate with Jose Mourinho at 67% win rate. He knew, how, he knew how to win with that, so, that Chelsea team. Yeah. Well, then he yeah. lost one game in, the, in that 2004-05 season. No, so uh, they're obviously... Up. It'll be an interesting one because it's just crazy. I mean, you, you think how Man U came close to getting rid of Solskjaer and then mm. stuck Welcome. with him and look at them now. Um, I still think, you know, Ferguson, Alex Ferguson would not have lasted in this day and age with the, no. start, he, with the start he had at Man U. Because what, happened? It could, happen. what was it? Three years to win the FA Cup and then five to win the league, was it? I think it was. He was about to get a sack and he won an FA Cup game that kept him in it. And then yeah. uh, just kept going from there. But after that, he started to win the trophies. But yeah, it, it now, was, exactly. He was, so, he was so close to getting a sack. And then they had, God knows how many years and how, how much success they had. That's the thing. I think, I think Lampard's definitely intelligent enough to be a good manager in the future. But it was Chelsea's fault for offering him a job when he's had little to no experience. Yeah. Yeah, he had one year with Derby where he bottled a promotion for them, and I mean, yes, a lot of people have argued that they're what twenty third now in the oh no, well they're they're something ridiculously low in the championship right now. But I'm like, okay, well, 
he still couldn't get promotion. And that so just because he did better than other managers doesn't mean he's Chelsea level, supposed to be challenging for the league, Champions League, whatever. It's, it's a different level. level. The big six, the big six is different pressures, different levels. Yeah. 100%. And yes, he's pro- proved to be a good coach and it'll be a brilliant uh, one to bring up the youngsters by the looks of it. But to actually deal with the superstars, and he doesn't it, got it. it's very hard when you're close to their age. Very hard. Yeah. There's very few have actually managed to do that successfully. Obviously, Jose, when he was younger, um, Pep is, is the obvious example of someone who's really stepped up and been yeah. able to do that. But those examples are so few and far between. Oh, it's, so, it's so rare. So rare. When you great players do not necessarily make, make great managers. And that's no, something that's that happens all the time. We, all we've the time. discussed we've discussed that a lot before when we say that it, it almost it almost is the case. Obviously, there are some players that were great players and become good managers, but yeah. it almost seems the case that it tends to be the players you've never heard of in their career as a player become these insane managers, and then these yeah, insane yeah. players just can't manage the team. Like it's it's crazy how it works like that for the most for the most part. Obviously, there are a few outliers in that. But yeah, there's a few examples both ways. But um, yeah, it's, it's very bizarre. You, you I, don't I tend think, to, find... to be honest with you, I think it's the board's, the Chelsea's board fault entirely. Like if from the get go, they either they either the options are to them either don't sign him in the first place if you know the history of what Chelsea are like in the past twenty years of sacking managers that don't win leagues and this that and the other, let alone have let alone be eighth or whatever they are in, in the in the table and not competing in competitions and blah, blah, blah. So either don't sign an experienced manager in the first place, or if you're actually going to sign him and have as a manager, you have to stick with him for a few years and actually treat it as a proper project. But that's the history you're of Chelsea. Do that. They don't, they don't do that. Do so that. It, was, it, was no. a strange, it was the strangest move in the first place. What I like about ple- pe- ple- people like Gerard is Gerard has at least gone to a different league where you can argue it's, easier than the that than the prem but it's still his challenge at rangers was obviously to knock off an insane celtic side and yeah, not even yeah. just that he's 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 smashing it in europe in the europa league with them smashing it throughout the league like he's he's proper grinding for it with not necessarily and he's still the looking at starting players he's still yeah. looking at starting players and he's still trying to improve the team yeah now that's crazy they were one every game or virtually every game um, this season, it's crazy. Yeah, but and that's the thing. Like, as much as you can argue that he needs time to gel them in this, that, and the other, it is hard to say spending two hundred and fifty million give him time. Like the the players that he brought in, Lampard should have performed no. a lot better by now. Yeah, First yeah. names that come to mind are Werner and Havertz, the two German players. Havertz. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll have a German manager soon, so he'll be able. Well, to that, I think that's probably part of the tactics of why they're bringing in two shots, especially Rudiger in defence as well. Like, I know a lot of stuff behind the scenes about Rudiger not being happy with Lampard. And This is what I don't know. I heard the rumours about Rafa going to Celtic. Have Celtic yeah, sacked yeah. Lennon yet, or is he still in post? I don't know, but I know that Benitez left his uh, job in the China club in, what yeah. was it, about three days ago now? Um, there are funny rumors saying that he would go back to Chelsea, but there's no way that's gonna, <laughs> that would be so funny, but would never happen. Um, it's definitely it's looking, it's almost 100% certain Tuchel is going to be the Chelsea manager if it hasn't even been announced already. As I haven't been keeping an eye on socials the past hour or so, um, I don't think it has. Um, but yeah, it's um. It's an interesting one. I think you either had to go for a different manager in the first place or just stick with him. I think they've, they've done it way too soon um, to sack him, even if they had a bad one. And like you said, look at Oli. I thought he was a goner last the end of last year. He November, was gone. I thought he was Pochettino, gone. But then he had a few games that kind of saved him. In some in the, all right, they ended up dropping out. We had a couple of good Champions League games then, a couple of good other games in the league that kind of gave him the extra chance. Otherwise, he would have been gone for sure. Very similar to Ferguson. Been that close to getting the chop. And then a month later, I mean, it's just crazy. This season has been crazy. But, then, yeah, but exactly. We, we're only halfway through. Can you imagine we get to the end of the season and Man United end up finishing eighth? Then he might get the sack. Like, who knows? Yeah. Like, this, season's, this season's mental, man. And, I, and especially as well, in a season like it is, to sack Lampard now is so, so strange. 
such a strange and they finished top of their champions league group so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, honestly the whole thing baffles me it baffles me like, we we have to get champions league and we're five points off full um get champions league by winning it yeah very true i had that mate the whole thing was strange I don't think they should have done him in the first place, but now since they had him as a manager, you had to stick by him. Otherwise, you've just wasted, wasted a year and a half. Totally wasted. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's fun. As Spurs fans, though, it's funny, isn't it? Oh, it is hilarious. It's hilarious. I called it, I called it when we beat them in the Carabao Cup. I put the clip on, I called out it in, the <laughs> in, in, that, in that stream. So. Here you go. Oh, they're just showing the highlights from the uh, the previous Wickham game back from the six is it the 16 17 season? I think it is. Wow. Uh, four, three, you must be a long way behind. I've just finished a bet 365 advert. Christ, so let me know. <laughs> Kick off, um, yes, <coughs> very soon. 10 minutes time ish, oh, just under 10 minutes. So oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to pause it. No doubt about it. I'm gonna have to. Sunny, wait sunny for it. Oh wait, no, but this, this is the annoying thing. I'm at least twenty seconds behind. You are miles behind. I'm on Hay Car sponsors the Emirates FA Cup, BT Sport, um, B Gamble Aware. This has got to be a bet three six five. There you go. Bet three six five advert. I'm only at the start of it though. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, just as the. The the sign went on what's the name? The actor. Oh, what have I forgot his name? Well, he's come up already. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was. What have I forgot his name? Ray something. Well. Yeah, Winston. Ray Winston. Oh, that's, that's yeah, that's the one. Bet three six five. It just said. Now it's the next advert. Wow. Yeah, you're a long way behind. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. I don't have it on the actual TV. I've only the got it on the Fire Stick, so. Sadly, going to be spoiling it for us, but that's fine. Guys, no standing, please. I'm going to let people okay. chat in the thing. Guys, make sure to leave your predictions as well and leave a like on the streams. We're expecting this to be a cozy stream today, given the fact it's Wick and Wanderers. So, not expecting many viewers, but those that are around could do with your help by liking the stream and also potentially subscribing if you're new around here. We'll, we'll see. I'll never know. Oh, we, we've just gone through the Lampard sacking. Um, Kitty Cat Gamers. <laughs> we, we won't go through all that again. Kickoff is very soon. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to run through the lineup again because we are close to kickoff and there seems to be a lot of new people here. Um, right. So just the Wickham lineup for those that are interested. I, I If you're all Spurs fans, I'm not expecting you to know many of them. I think the main one to know out is Adebayo Akinfenwa, who is on the bench. So he's not starting. He is on the bench. Number 20. Whether he'll come on or not, who knows? But that's their lineup, and but more importantly, the Spurs one we're looking out for. And let me just get rid of this so you can see the the bench. Joe Hart in goal, back four. Tanganga coming in at right back. Sanchez out of viral. Davis uh, Davis captaining the side at left back. Winks and Sissoko midfield. I imagine Lamella behind the front three of Vinicius, Lucas, and Bale. Uh, Bale will presumably be on the right hand side. Lucas on the left, and Vinicius up top with pretty much the first team on the bench just missing Dyer and Larice. So okay, so you're going for Lamella in the kind of number 10 role rather than Lucas? Yeah, when when it's been Lucas and Lamella, I feel like Lamella's been in the middle the most um, in okay. every game we've played. I think he plays that number 10 role more than Lucas does. We only really notice Lucas doing that in the Marine game. That's because all our players had so much more freedom around the pitch that he could be in the middle. I, I think it's most likely Lucas on the left and Lamella behind them is what my guess would be. What I would love it to be is Bale in that middle bit with Lamella yeah, on the right. that's what we'd love to see. But it's not going to happen. But... I, I think, like we were, we've said this so many times, Bale clearly hasn't done it yet yeah. for us on the right-hand side. But why not try him down the middle then? He hasn't got necessarily the pace, but he's still got the good footwork the top quality footwork so if he's not got the pace to take people on on the wings why not stick him in the middle behind the striker and control the movement forward because even at the end of his spurs career he almost had this free roll where he drifted into the middle a lot more in his last season at spurs so why are we not seeing that now i do not understand so i'm hoping he does that more today but it's most likely going to be he's on the right moves into the like moves into the middle from the right 
and hopefully he gets a shot from distance. That would please Spurs fans, but who knows? Who knows? Guys, I want to see your predictions. Let me know what you think is going on. We haven't said ours, to be fair. Dad, what are you going for today? No. Uh, yeah. A bit of a tough one. Uh, even though it's our second team, they are virtually all international players. Yeah. Nearly all of them. Um, and a lot of them and, were first team players last year. So, Well, Giovanna, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but did mention that it's crazy to uh, consider that we've got Winston Sosoko in the middle of our midfield starting against Wickham now when they were our first choice in the Champions yeah, League final. Very true. Very true. So, so yes, I'm going to agree with Liam Blanchard and I'm going to go for a 4 0 Spurs win. 4 0. You know what? I, 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 I'm thinking similar because, as sad as it is, Wickham have been struck by COVID recently. Um, I, obviously, we don't know which specific players there are, but they've only kind of just come out of that that, that quarantining um, with the main players playing. So, the level of our team anyway should beat them, but because of that especially as well, I do feel like that this should should be a hammering, but it's Spurs. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's Spurs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could it easily be nil-nil going into extra time trying yeah. to win on penalties. Uh, um, you know, we don't know, you what, know what, what to expect from this team anymore, to be honest. I would agree with you in 4-0, but just, just for the sake of saying something different, I'm going to go 3-0. Yeah, now, higher or lower? You go I'll, up, I'll say three. three. I'll say three. I'll be a bit more conservative three. today. Just because, like you said, we, we, we got no idea. It's Spurs. Anything can happen. But I'll, I'll say 3 0 is what I'll go for. We got some very, we got audacious ones here. 6 0 from reverse mercs. We got Adam Jones saying 5 1. Got a couple free ones. Panicking saying easy win. Vought, don't speak too soon. <laughs> 3 0 <laughs> for Spurs. Um, is there extra time or does it go straight to penalties? It's a very good question. Is it extra time this early in? I feel like they changed it so it's just straight to penalties given the current climate of COVID, but I'm actually not too sure. They change no. it almost every round now, which is a bit strange. 7-2, um, 5-1, Salcon 10-0. Let me four, check my friend. Uh, let me check my friend on Google. Your friend on Google. Oh, not substitutions, sorry. Oh, in fact, I want to know the substitutions as well. So, maximum of three. Three is, no, hold on. Teams are permitted a maximum of three opportunities, excluding half time, to make substitutions during normal time. Right, okay. But does that mean we can make, we can name five subs? How many actually bloody play? Can you put on? Can you put on five? Yeah, you can put on five in that case. Remember what happened in Marine? We ended up putting about a whole different team on by the end of the game. Two, three Spurs okay. on penalties. Bloody hell, someone's not feeling very confident. Whereas we've got the opposite. We've got 11 nil, 7 6 on Billy Alley, 8 nil. <laughs> <laughs> no Delhi today. Well, apparently he's got uh, some form of. What injury was it, Dad? Mm, ten, tendon injury. Ten, which is... Tendon injury. Which is code for he's in chats with PSG and uh, yeah, I was going to say is that is that not the name of an airline that's flop, hopping over the English Channel? Is that what you meant to say? <laughs> According to Talksport, no replay. Uh, is this third round? It's fourth, fourth, fourth round, isn't it? Fourth now. Fourth round. Right. No, no replays for extra time will be played. Five cool. substitutes permitted. Cool. They are only at certain games, and we're away. I doubt it's at this one, is it? You say that, you mean maybe. Actually, I don't think oh, that is. I know, I know Middlesbrough had it against... Did you see that incident? Um, was that yesterday or the day before? On Saturday. The guy... So the ball came in. He headed it. It went wide. But the defender totally lifted his leg up and booted him in the eye. And his eye was bleeding. And they had VAR and they didn't give a penalty or a red card. It was mental. Absolutely mental. Booted him in the eye, made it bleed and didn't... Yeah. And nothing yeah. was awarded. Or even look back, looked back at, which was just bizarre, like bizarre. Hey, what's up, Spencer? Welcome back. Yo, Harry Kane, what's happening? Marcus Patterson, regular don donator of the stream. I appreciate you so much, my guy. Thank you for the donation. This is a game where Gareth Bale needs to turn up and get all 90 minutes. Otherwise, this season will be a waste, oh, in my opinion. Did they not take the knee on this one? Did they not do it in the FA Cup? 
Uh, you're still slightly ahead of me. They, they're only just uh -huh. showing both. They're only just showing both lineups, and they're swapping sides. Is what I'm seeing. Oh, so I'm going. Where's the clock? Don't get um, the clock up. I agree. I think this is a kind of game we need to see a top class bail. Otherwise, coming Steve. towards the end of the season now, the second half of the season, it's going to be very hard to see him getting any. Let me know when you're on 15 seconds. Well, yours has kicked off. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Christ. Okay. Mine's just showing Gareth Bale at the moment. Yeah, about. yeah. But all right, I'll put kickoff as the graphic, even though I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it is kickoff, so um, they've got the aerial shot right now. I won't show the clock for the first ten seconds. All right, they've kicked it, so I'll let you know once they've. God, how far behind am I? I hate this. Um, hold on, they're just heading it back and forth. Free kick's been given or offside or something. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There you go. go. Now, you can, <laughs> now you can go. Guys, I'm going to be miles. Well, I say miles. I'm 30 seconds behind because I've only got BT Sport on the, um, on the fire stick and it's delayed by 30 seconds because it's done over the internet rather than television, which is something I would have thought they would have sorted by now given how many trillions they're worth. But, you know, we move. We move. It'll be, yeah, interesting, to see if, uh, it'll be interesting to see if people are going to have a go at Vinicius for celebrating again if he scores, <laughs> if it's against the championship team this time. Yeah. I mean, I'm expecting him to score again today. He seems to do well against um, fairly okay. low... low we can only low. attack, actually, on the edge um, of our area. Yeah, they just had a shot. Fairly weaker opponents. Sissoko, good okay. strength. Lamella, where's he going to go? Go on, Davis. Popping it down. Now with Lucas Mora coming into the middle. Is he going to come all the way? Goes That's for a ball. 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 Great ball into Vinicius. Lays it off. Lamella. <sighs> Blocked. Corner to Spurs. Corner to Spurs. I tell you what, that ball from that little dink from Lucas into Vinicius. Mm. Brilliant foresight. On He's side. Really well. Really well controlled it as well. Yeah, great control. Holds it off as well enough great to off. pop it across nice. to Lamella. Has a left footed shot, but obviously blocked out for a corner to Spurs. So let's see if Lamella can pr prove me wrong today. Yep. Or I say this is kind of well, it's a bit higher than his standard, but this is <laughs> oh, oh. Just a bit too far over. The the ball from Lucas looping over pretty much everyone looked like it was going to find Vinicius. At the far post, but just went over him as just well. Just went over his head. Oh, yeah. To Wickham. Because they're in terrible form of games in the league and Chelsea are impatient. So, fun with Tommy is asking, where's Rodon? The fact that he's not starting, I think, is an indication that he's likely to start against Liverpool on Thursday. Yeah, I so think. I wouldn't be overly I... concerned that he's not out there. Well, he's on the bench anyway, so I'm ex fully expecting us to do pretty much the same lineup we did against Sheffield United, because I, I think he'll go a back five against Liverpool at I home, think or back three, should I say, because um, Reguilon and Aurea get forward quite a bit, and the combination of Rodon, Dyer, and Davis seemed to work fairly well. Obviously, Davis was beaten in the air um, for the McGoldrick header, which you would have thought, why isn't Toby in that position instead? But I guess to have a left-footed centre back in that back three is what he wants. So yeah. that's, why, that's why Davis fills that position. Got Winksy driving forward in the middle. Something very rare. Oh. God, he still mixed. Ah, oh, okay. Winks played a, a quite an actually almost a great through ball. Um, I think he was aiming for Lamella with that one, but it managed to go past yeah. him and the defender. Managed to make it all the way across to Lucas. Tries to get a, a, a cross. But well, that's what Winks is good at and doesn't do enough of that drive forward. Yeah. Go on, man. Oh, Bale oh. just missed an easy header. Bale, man. Wow, you'd expect him to score that all day long. He easily should have scored that guy. Easily. From the corner. He's actually on the inside the six yard line. Wow, he had in, the, in that the defender beat for that. Goal. Easily had the defender beat for that. And to not get it on target. At that point, the defender didn't even challenge him. Yeah. 
Wow, how's he not scored that? The commentator oh. saying what a let off that was. So yeah. Come on, Gareth. Keep going, Gareth. I believe in you. I believe in him as well. I think it's just it's a tough season for him to get back into oh, we're it. Looking well. good. We're looking good. Come on. We are. Come on. Get on side, Vinicius. You're miles offside. Hey, he's miles offside, man. Okay. He played on anyway because possession yeah. went into Wickham, but I don't know why Vinicius was still standing miles offside. Now Wickham with the ball kind of on the halfway line on the left-hand side. Yeah, oh, we are man. winning second ball all the time. We yeah, we are. Again. Do you know what I like? Wickham have got a lot of players going forward when they attack. So that that's, leaves yeah, fairly that's going to be a mistake. Davis wanted the return move in it. That's not a foul. Go on, Kyle. <laughs> Easily won the ball back there. Lucas. Go on, Lucas. Deliver it. Finds Winksy. Winks goes for the delivery. Bad boy, was it? Yeah, it wasn't a terrible ball. Just a bit, little bit too far for Gareth. Um, goal kick to Wickham. But it's a good start, you know. It's it's, it's a decent start. Oi, oi, I think we've got another we got another guest on the show. Yo. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? All right, all right. Are you able to watch the game? Can you see it? No, you know. I have to leave the house for following you guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very wise. <laughs> what right to do? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thank you, bro. Fine, thank you. Manic, isn't it? Just manic out here. Oh, sorry, hold on. Wick we and we're just <laughs> on the attack right now. It's not... Yeah. <laughs> Bear with us while we... Uh, we were just saying that Wickham attacking a lot with quite a bit of numbers. So hopefully that helps us a lot when we go to attack We've, there. We have won the second ball well and we're, we're breaking well. But at the moment, is Wickham attacking? Oh, Ooh, and, yeah, it uh, Actually, a, a decent save from Joe Hart there. Uh, they just headed it. It looked like it was going in the top right corner, but Joe Hart actually had to save it out for a corner to Wickham. How's it been made that so a lot harder than it was. What like are you giving us? <laughs> we were all over them until you joined. They were dominating as soon as you came on. Oh dear! Right, that was a good save. You ready for our show tomorrow? I think we got rants. We got yeah, rants I'm... and bans tomorrow. We had to. Yeah, yeah, in the bar. Bar. yeah look, but... at, last week was sick. Last week was sick, so I'm just I'm just excited for rants tomorrow, man. Same, and no no doubt he's gonna rip it. Rip so it hard. Just well. had to punch the ball out again from underneath the post. <laughs> Really? How are you? Oh, and they have another corner. Oh, did I miss it? Because they're only just taking it now. No, no, that was another one. He, oh, he wow. virtually did the same save that he did from the header. Oh, wow. I wasn't looking. <laughs> uh, hello. What about the GBH ref? I was going to say, is it not a foul on there? No. Mourinho wanted them to move quick, which is good. That's good. Oh, are you confident about Maybe. the game? Oh. Huh? Are you confident so far? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fairly confident. Yeah. We were saying yeah, like four, 3 nil is what we're thinking. Oh, I think good. whoever said whoever said seven six earlier <laughs> might not be wrong from what we've seen. <laughs> yeah, so far. At the moment, um, we're, we're winning every second ball at the moment, so it's it's been yeah. fairly all right. But they they're attacking with a fair bit of numbers, so yeah. it's quite end to end. Oh, yeah, he was offside. Oh, he that offside. Very yeah, close. He was. It's a shame, but yeah, um, Lampard getting sacked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't, that was hilarious. <laughs> no, but um, I think after last week, like everyone really like the, the episode last week was proper sick, man. Like, I really had a good time on it. So um, yeah, I just think I think tomorrow we go again, man. Tomorrow we go again. Tomorrow we go again, hit the bar. Episode three. Rants and Bants is going to be our guest. <laughs> Uh, about seven o'clock, I think it is. Just after seven, we'll be live with that, and there'll be a lot of gas being spoken about in that in that one. Trust me. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I know it's just the batch is going to be flying back and forth. He's going to rip into us. So we're going to rip to him. It's just it's just going to be one of those episodes, man. <laughs> That'd be good. A lot no of arguments. The, man United might win the league as well. We can have that with Rans. That'd be hilarious. So definitely it's, a mad one. All Man United fans right now, they're just. Yeah, listen, they are, they are, I don't want to get into too much. I'll save it for tomorrow, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't give him any material yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to save it for tomorrow. 
No, it should be good. Should be good, guys. So that's say they're they're that's loving life good. at the moment, but it won't be long before they're crying. Trust me. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Everyone's gonna have a bad one again. So big mic. Yeah, oh, well, big mic. If, if Rashford, I don't know how bad Rashford's injury was, but um, if he he struggles, they're gonna struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, Lucas. Lucas. Oh, okay. couldn't get it across, man. Have you got your tune ready yet? We're Scorcher. I want to hear it. Bro. <laughs> Yo, listen, they want it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was even, I was even listening to it. Like, this morning, I was like, yeah, man, yeah. It's, it's one of those ones. It's one of those, those, one of those records, man. It's one of those records, man. Oh, I'm enjoying. I can't it. wait. I mean, to be sick. We're gonna have him on as a guest as well, so we can we can just chat shit about Spurs. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Spurs fan as well. He's a genuine fan, like he loves it just, just as much as the next man. So, okay, and, and for the one or two fans on the here who don't know what a school tour is, <laughs> <laughs> can you just enlighten us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's freezing a bit there. Yeah, uh, he's a rapper. UK, UK, UK yeah. rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, how? Obviously, I knew that. It was for, for the public. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> I mean, we saw him on the last hit the bar when he popped his head in. On the, when yeah, he was in the he's, car. He, was there you go. he was watching. <laughs> oh, you're freezing, you're freezing oh, a bit. Yeah, connection's not good, sir. It's lagging a bit. Oh no, he's frozen. Oh, it's a Spurs goal uh -huh. kicker. We must have seen all three of us on a track. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh, you don't. Right. You don't. Frozen? I'll hold him out there for now until that until that's fixed. <laughs> I'd love to put Dino's uh, <laughs> rap that oh, he did. Oh god, yeah. I'll probably <laughs> do a little, little trek. Uh, yeah, he, he did one for our niece's birthday today uh with his mum it was hilarious but uh there's no way i'll be allowed to share that <laughs> they kill us oh yeah he just he just left because his thing's frozen he might come back i think yeah, he's gonna yeah, head yeah, home yeah. and come back to hopefully come in, later, in the second half okay so well we can I haven't read the script yet then no well though i like like you say i like the fact that they're attacking us because there's loads of space loads of opportunities uh, exactly. you know, it's just, unlike cool. most of the games we've had this season against weaker teams where they literally part the bus and well not literally but they part the bus um so it's kind of refreshing to see a team actually go for it but you'd like to think that's the wrong tactic against us but I know. We'll, that, that, that we'll should, find out a bit later <laughs> that should theoretically work out for us but we're gonna have it to really should because we got the, the players that we got out there with the speed of lucas um and you know even lamella can actually run a bit well we've we've already seen a few moments so far we're picking up second balls and actually getting down the left hand side quite a lot yeah. with lucas yeah. and lamella so it's seeming like it's 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 fairly easy to get up to their up to their defense and into their box. It's just we I'm haven't. That. Oh, that's an interesting trying trying to switch that to Lucas. Oh, but on, on the edge of area. Hit it. Oh, just wide. Oh, oh man, that's two he should have had by now. No, that just means a goal's coming for him. That means a goal's coming for him. It's coming. That was it's such a it's terrible it. clearance by that defender straight to him. It was a bit of a weak touch. Ghost I see him going for that bottom left corner. Or, well, depending on what way you're looking at it. For the keeper, it's his bottom left. Yeah. Um, it just, again, just went wide. How close again? It's all right, it's though. Getting the chances, it's, getting the opportunities. It will come. We, we've already seen that it's, it's, it's already open enough. It's already well open enough that we can get goals today. It's just Bale will have enough chances to get a goal. I can, you, can, you can kind of feel oh, it. Yeah. Got Vinicius to. looks hungry for it, and Bale looks pretty hungry for a goal. So, I wouldn't be surprised if both. Let's keep this pace up. Apologies. We've, we've actually started at quite a good pace in terms of hyper. You can't the ball. would be illegal, and I would get 
sent to jail and heavily fined. So no, thank you. <laughs> Well, come on, Lucas. Oh, Lucas, that's a good drive. Come on. Why is everyone smiles on the right? Bale on the right-hand side. Can he deliver now? Well, his right oh, foot right way foot. over the top. A bit too far. It was on his weaker foot. Looked for Vinicius at the back post, but went a bit too far. Just a bit too far. Oh, I thought Sanchez would lose the ball there. <laughs> he lost the ball there as well. Yeah. Luckily, luckily. Don't worry, Theo Bale's going to score hopefully soon. Kieran asking, George, will Spurs win the FA Cup and Europa League this season? I tell you what. And the Carabao. You League Cup and Europa League are looking more likely. Well, one League Cup, obviously, because we're in the final. I know it's City, but it's a one, one hopefully 90-minute match that we sh Mourinho should be able to win. Um, and then the Europa League, the competition isn't as strong as it has been in previous years. Man United have dropped into it, but apart from that, it doesn't seem to be as tough opponents. So that could be a good one to win, which would be amazing to have European silverware. I love and the way you mention Man U and Arsenal. <laughs> oh, I never mentioned Arsenal in that. Oh, no. <laughs> in that conversation. Um, so why not? You know what? Why, while Mourinho is here, why not just win everything? It's not that hard, surely. <laughs> League Cup, FA Cup, you Europa know, League. Two, these two teams that we've got, that this is our second team today. Yeah. Our second team, oh, I say that, we've got Everton next, so maybe not, but I was going to say our second team should be good enough to get as far as possible in the competition, but we might have to We might have to think about playing a bit of a strong yeah, side yeah. Everton. Oh, uh, London's a shot by Mori Lucas Mora. Lucas wins it back again. Ah, oh, it just doesn't fall. Come on, pick up. Through. Vinicius chases the defender down, though. That's gone, surely. Good tackle from Tanganga, but unfortunately, Wick, another Wiccan player gets around him. Oh, that was weak from Winks, that. It was weak. Uh, through him. Now Wickham driving forward. That was really weak from Winks. He should have done a much better tackle than that. He kind of just kicked it at him, and then he just carried on running through him. Ball whipped in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right. I thought it was an own goal at one point. Yeah. Oh, we got a goal kick out of this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, their, player, their player just kicked it off just then. But that ball yes. into the goal was it was accidental. He definitely didn't mean to go that low, that low in there, but nearly fell through to their forward. Sanchez yeah. had to tackle that and clear for a goal kick to Spurs. Um, George, what's that Belgian team like who is in Spurs group who Rangers now face? Can you see Rangers beating Royal Antwerp? I think Rangers can beat Royal Antwerp. Rangers have been pretty, pretty class across Europe and in the uh, obviously in their league. So I've got no doubt that. Well, I mean, we only lost to Royal Antwerp in that away one because of a stupid error from Davis. And then we just couldn't get the goal after that when the players came on. So I think Rangers will have a good chance against them. Like four minutes in front of you guys, yeah, nothing we can do about that. You're probably about realistically 40 seconds, 40 seconds ahead of us, I think it is just because yeah. I'm on the fire stick and it does it via the internet rather than the TV, so I can't, can't go any, um, any closer to the real time, sadly. Hey, welcome, Stephen. Thank you for the payment, man. All right, stories. I've, I've seen your message. I, I did it once. Relax. <laughs> How long gone? 18 Why minutes. 18 minutes 50. Yeah, okay. You're 50 seconds ahead of us. So, <laughs> But it's all right. We're here to just watch football and enjoy it together. That was, a, what? that was a great tackle. Unless he means for the Sissoko one initially. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because he's pointing to the other one. Because that's the Lamella's tackle was perfect. You don't say that often. No, <laughs> you're right. You don't. But no, it was de it was definitely for yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> actually, it was a good tackle by Lamella. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Lamella was actually really, really good. <laughs> so they deliver a free kick into our box. Sanchez heads it clear. Bale then hoofs it up. Come on, pick it up. Uh, their, their second touch is, is pretty, pretty poor. We just got to take it. Uh, uh, 
to be, got to be. All right. Well, Vinicius just seems to be wandering a bit too much offside today. I think he needs to. I think he does that a fair bit, though, doesn't he? We've yeah. seen that in earlier matches. He, he does stray offside quite a bit. He learns how to bend his runs more. He, we know that he's a very, very typical number nine. I think just be on the last striker and you've got the best chance of going through on goal is pretty much his his tactic by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, but obviously that means he just gets caught out offside. I remember when Jermaine Defoe used to be offside so many times for Spurs when he was playing for us. Mental. The thing, remember back to the, I think that Wigan game when we thrashed them at home. That was it, the 9-1. Nine, I'm, yeah. I'm convinced that he would have had more than the, was it the five goals that he scored? I'm convinced he would have had more than that anyway um, if he wasn't offside as much because I remember he made a few times that game as well. So that's that was just mad because I think that was only one nil half time. It was something like that. It just seems so, honestly, off. it was crazy. You just went oh, yeah. mad in the second half. Popped off in the second half. Good old start. White Hart Lane. Next year, live in the near future. Potentially, I just don't really have a lot of time for. I'm just not really that into the, the FIFA right now, to be honest with you. So it's not. I'm not really got the time for it. Look at the snow on the edge of the pitch. Oh, yeah, we can see the snow around the outside of the pitch. They've done well then to clear all that. To clear the pitch. Probably got under soil heating by the looks of that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, seriously, how have they got that off? I mean, they probably were sh scraping it throughout the day. Because remember what I said about that that non-league team where they camped overnight uh, yeah. just to make sure the snow didn't yeah. didn't settle. Teams like this, they can probably sort that out fairly quickly. But I'm I think you're right. It's got to. Nah, be that's got to be. No, or they've got some heater thing that goes on top. There's no way that is just scraped off with a you broom. Know what? That, that's that's more likely. You know, like what Spurs do with those things where that treats the grass. Yeah. They've probably got the same kind of thing that. Um, that heats the pitch because, yeah, yeah. So they've actually done, like you said, really well to clear all that. Come on now, 21 minutes into the game. No goal as of yet. Oh, Wickham suddenly going through. Two forward. glorious chances from Bale so far. Yeah. One head up. One of the best chances. From the outside here. Oh, nice oh, back heel. Oh, look, that was a brilliant back from Lamella. Davis switches it across to Bale. Poor touch from Bale, but he's under pressure. Back with Tanganga now. And Winks. Bale but staying Bale, in the middle. Uh, Bale stayed in the middle. Forward, which is good. Can he get the delivery across is the thing. That's a good little switch, actually, towards Lamella. Lamella trying oh. to do a little flip flap. Doesn't quite get past the man, but lays it off to Sissoko. It's a back um, of him. Spencer, it was snowing yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, yesterday. morning. Right? Yeah, just one day. Kind of expected to snow again this Sunday. Seems like a weekly thing right now in London. I mean, it's earlier than we normally get in London anyway. Weirdly, London normally gets snow in like April. <laughs> Not never, never actually in the winter. Come on, Davis on the left. Back with Winksy. Apart from that one weak tackle earlier, I tell you what, Winks is looking fairly sharp so far this game. Um, we got an eye to go forward, which we want to see a lot more from him. So yeah, yeah. He, he started off all right. I think Bale just needs to keep just keep pestering their defence because he's had two very good chances and hasn't managed to bury them, which you'd expect him to do a lot better. <laughs> he fell over there. Lucas. Tanganga chasing down. They're playing on the left wing, on their left wing. Driving into the box, uh, good defending. Well. Goes out to a corner. Well, that's a Wickham, who are still looking dangerous. They, they, they are they're attacking us well. Yeah, they definitely are. Massive credit to them for actually going oh. at it. And, and oh, yeah. That. Yeah, I'm really impressed that they're going for it. And say, for I think well, our, our, it our should team, be a mistake. But Yeah, our second team never, ne never seemed to... Um, second team never normally sit back. So it's good that we're seeing quite end-to-end -end attacking football in this game. Okay, get away. We've got no giving no, it away in the area. Clear by one, blocked by Bale on the shot there. Number nine, then number nine trying to shield off Toby, but he gets to it in the end, and it's a throw into Wickham. I'm scared to look at the chat. Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm yeah, seeing as soon as I said that, I'm seeing things I didn't want to oh, see. But when everyone says it, this is when it's a problem. 
when everyone's saying, oh, why are we 50 oh, seconds? Fuck. Here we go. All right. Thanks why did I choose that moment to look down? <laughs> so we've gone from yeah. got a throw in. Okay, for Lucas has just thrown it to them for some reason. Christ. Yeah, if everyone. Oh, is, please. Everyone You're all winding, winding us up. Oh, fuck are they? No, but when everyone does it, <laughs> when everyone's doing yeah. it, I'm still yeah. to wind yeah, up. Here you go. Here you oh, go. There we go. Ah. Right. What was the Christ? I picked that moment to look at the chat and say, "Oh, I'm not looking at not looking at the chat." Oh, one nil goal. Have they scored? We can have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a sh what happened. So we gave them a throw in, pointlessly, but then they just. That number nine shielded off Toby really well, to be fair, and got him to the oh, ground. Oh, um, but that de that defending from Sanchez just fell straight to the... the I, can't, I couldn't see who scored. It fell straight to the goal scorer. It was by himself. And, I mean, Jaffet couldn't do much. He had to follow the defender in and then just got caught in no man's land. Okay. That's that going to happen in this game. I told you it's going to be uh, lots of goals, the way they're playing. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'm not worried yet. Um, what was the name of the goal scorer? I need to... Yeah, I thought it might be Onyedima. Onyedima, yeah. It's just more like I want to make sure I get the spelling right for him. Onyed. Oh, Sanchez, man. Yeah, yeah, I think Sanchez is done. I mean, not many fans like liked him anyway, but that was just... Onyedima, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this is weird when you've been so far behind, George. It's like, I don't know whether to look, look at the chat or not. Well, we 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 got to look at the chat because yep. it's, it's fine if they say, because at the end of the day, it's, it's kind of off. My, well, my fault for being delayed anyway, and we want to interact with them. So it's just frustrating, man. Very, very frustrating. Oh, we don't need all negativity, guys. We've been playing all right. Yeah. We have to relax, man. Relax. relax. Really we got easy. this. That was really man cool. City were one nil down to Cheltenham until True. the 80th minute. True. And they won three one. Even a minor even a minor scale with Chelsea where they the, the yeah, they're losing. one goal back and they thought, Oh, could this be it? And then easily finished off. So Yeah. Long way to go. Yeah, it's just. I was waiting because he wants to make a name for himself. So he's waiting. Ah, he wants to get the situation. He turn wants things around and it's all down to him. That makes so much more sense. All right, relax. We got this. So, no need. No need to go in overload like some fans might, just because our second team conceded one goal from one poor bit of defending in the game. Apart from that, we've been all right. It's just we need to finish these chances going forward now. Yeah. Two very good chances from Bell not finished, but given giving him more chances, he will definitely make up for it for sure. It's a nice. It wasn't win. Oh. oh. God, I'll tell you what, these defenders are, th their defenders are doing some pretty shoddy clearances, but who is their number nine up top? <laughs> He's another Akil Bumo, isn't he? He is. <laughs> But the weird thing is, he's probably only half his size. <laughs> oh, nice play. Come on, Lucas. Lucas, come on. Keeps... Yeah, nice, he's got nice. Nice. Come on, Bell. Come on, put it away. Oh, it's oh, exactly the same as West Ham. In. That's three he should have had by now. On his right foot that time. Oh, well, that one's. I don't think that was as good yeah, as the other one. It was on his right. It was on his what right at fairly tight angle, but you still expect him to do a bit better than that. Yeah, that, to be fair, that defender came steamrolling across in front of him, so it would have been hard to find the corner. But three chances for Bale now. None on target, which is a bit, a little bit frustrating to see, but. Come on, keep giving him the chances. He will score. Keep giving him the chances. He will score. And if need be, you bring your son, your Canes, your Indombeles, and we'll, yeah, we'll, still, we'll, still win this game. we'll still win this game. Got half a team we can put on. 
But Wickham looking like they're doing more, going to do more changes than we are <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, the, the, the player injured himself, and that probably the one who slid in. Yeah, potentially. The manager looks like he should be in a rock band, doesn't he? Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like he's like Ozzy Osbourne's long lost brother or something. <laughs> <Just for that laughs> or he should be part of the Hairy Bikers. <laughs> part of that show. When have you ever seen a manager in a leather jacket like that? <laughs> that is something to something to behold. Aren't they supposed to like go off the pitch to get treatment? Especially when they're that close to the pitch. Yeah. yeah. I can't even tell what he did. Did he just kind of got Bale kind of shimmied him to be fair? And he must have just tweaked his tweaked one of his muscles on his thighs or something because nothing really noticeable in the replay. He's actually the lead singer and abandoned his spare time. I would I would not be surprised. <laughs> True. I would not be surprised. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Leicester was behind to Brentford as well and still won. So there is never a need to panic when you it's early to be shouting on Murray. In, or... They're only half an hour in. <laughs> I mean, worked out well, but very strange diving header from Sanchez. Sanchez, just get out of the way. Oh, why go back to Toby there? Come, come down to Tanganga, surely. Oh, we haven't seen one of Toby's forty-yard balls yet. No. There we go. It could be why. <laughs> yeah. Goal that kick. Was, that was on his left, that one. So that kind of yeah. escaped everyone and has gone for a goal kick. Uh, if if Reguilon was left uh, left uh, left back, I think he would have been in it. <laughs> yeah. Zero chance Mourinho is going to bottle this. Yeah, Mourinho will not let them, will not let them lose this game. Uh, absolutely not. It's actually almost better that they scored before the half time if they were going to because at least you know that Mourinho can absolutely tear them a new one in in the in the half time break so all right Spurs for on the left hand side um 32 minutes into the match well play one forty five okay so that's nice come on yeah, here we go. Ten I'm going on the right. Got to go have to more. wait to come back. No, that's a good pass from Winks into Lamella. Oh, Lamella, do something. Lay off quickly, come on. Flicks it over. Tried, to tried a Bergvine ball, didn't he? He, is, <laughs> he uh, did against to um, um, the Mele the other day. Come on. Come Corner on. to Spurs. Yeah, come on, Chad. Stop saying sack Jose, man. We got, we got, we're, we're back in our team. Oh. On our own. Back in him. I'm not looking at the chat just this moment because we're about to score from this corner. I, I can but feel it. We would have it. ready if we're 50 seconds behind. I, I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. But but like when I say this corner, I mean the following corner. That no, the one, one. that we're going to get from this. <sighs> oh, it actually is. Wait, is it not? <sighs> no. I swear that this is in over. Oh, I could have oh, sworn. Come on, now I can look at whatever. I could have sworn the other guy headed that over. But hey, guys, relax. There's a long way to go. Yeah. Good morning's clearly not having a good morning because <laughs> just got okay. relax. I've seen some good things. Yeah, I like that, guys. Come on, come on, you Spurs. Good, good bit of energy going in this FA Cup. Was it fourth round tie? Thirty-three minutes in. We're losing one mil for now. It's 33 minutes. Man, you do it every game. Man, you do it every single game. Man City also did it, like you said, recently. And Wick and Wanderers are sponsored by Dreams. So hopefully they actually do go to sleep soon. And um, we'll be able to get more goals in the second half. Oh, good one. I thought you was having a mare. Oh. Oh, it looks like that number three Jacobson is coming off the one that sustained the injury earlier for Child, Charles, even number twenty-one. Who who was he anyway? Was it a left back? It must be if he's number three. It must be. Tell you what, they Jim man, they must they <laughs> must put <laughs> a weight 
<laughs> See the size of the guy who just came on. I know. And what is he coming on? Rugby, I mean, they've actually got rugby shirts on, haven't they? I mean, Cardiff yeah, used true. to play. Cardiff rugby team used to play in in those checked blues tops. Uh, number um, nine is an absolute unit. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. It's not even Akin Femmer, which is a mad thing. Uche Ikpiazu. I probably pronounced that wrong, but he is... I want to know. I, he must be the one that goes gym with Akin Femmer because those two are absolute units going forward. Look at him. He's like double the size of Sanchez and Sanchez, Sanchez. is one of our bigger players. And so, yeah, Sanchez actually looks scared. Mark it, it's crazy. Christ. I'm saying that Charles that just came on looked like he had a... Yeah, he's quite a, quite a big player as well. A chest. Luckily, it's a bit of a poor poor corner from them. Cleared it out for yeah, now, but they're back on Charles the right. Back in. Come on, get Got out. This. Got to clear better than this. All right, okay, Luke. we're good at it now. Lucas just lumps it upfield. Now, come on, second ball. Soko to Lamella. Where's this going to go? That's got a fall to Bale. Surely, come on. Come on, Bale, do something. Bale. On your left and just bang it in. Oh, it's it's it. Oh, oh, the bar. Oh. Sissoko shot deflected. And did that, like, catch the corner? Of like the crossbar, where the like where the crossbar and the bar meet. It happened so quick, was it? When so Bale so plays yeah. up Bale the circle, yeah, yeah just it hits like the corner where the post is. Close to being oh, top end, and then he just falls straight into the keeper's hands. I oh, know, I oh, know, such a shame. Guys, please no spamming. Who's no spamming? Unbelievable. Hey, right? he's sticking with like like Panda saying no, he's sticking with the theme. He hit the bar. <laughs> <laughs> kind of not what we want to see, to be honest with you, today. That's got to be all for tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's oh. won that so well off of Winks. Come on, Winks. Got yeah. to do better than that. They mm. are a very, very um strong side, very physical. Ball in. Come on, Lamella, deal with that. Plays off to Davis. Yeah, they're making uh, Sissoko look a lightweight. <laughs> yeah, they really are. And he's our, he's our brick house. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Vinicius. Come on. Better than that. I can definitely see if we do not get a goal by halftime, I can 100% see a double Sun and Kane coming on. Um. At half time, got to, got to, guys. Please, no spamming and especially no incorrect scores. We'll definitely get Josh Fusion on at some point. Rock and roll football, okay. It's making a lot more sense now. It's making a lot more sense if he actually <laughs> the whole band thing since they had rock and roll football on the uh. <laughs> All right, Babs, we're chilling. Don't worry. Don't worry, Babs, we're chilling. You're already knocked we're out. Gone. You're already knocked out. This is early in the match for us. Whatever happens, we lasted longer than the FA Cup than Arsenal did. Come come talk to us. If if we lose at full time, then you have the right to come chat to us, Babs. That's but for now, sad, we're all right. We're all right. We are 38 minutes in for those asking in the chat. So not too long left. Of the first half. God, Vinicius miles offside again. <laughs> oh, again. Just got to learn to do those runs, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, even if he was onside, whatever, he was never going to get to that ball. It was too far away from him, but... Oh, that's got to be Hamill, no? He was fairly close to him, but Spurs in possession. Yeah. Well, with heart, he doesn't know what to do with it. Stop wasting time. Get on with it. This is what I was saying. We slowed things down. Yeah, which is pretty unusual. Now with Tanganga into Sissoko. Where's he going to go? Back to Tanganga. Jaffet, young Jaffet. Is it you to say? Oh, nice little kind of chop from Bell to keep possession. There's some into the mask. Oh. oh. Try to lay the ball through to Lamella, but he hit it really hard, Bale. 
But if he, yeah, if... it had to be a bit. It was actually in the right position because he puts it in front of Lamella, which is really what you want. Actually, um, you want it in front of him, but it had a bit too much pace on it, so it's gone out for a goal kick. Come on, Bale! The chances are coming, my friend. The chances are coming, please, please. I think they've just shown. Oh, uh, is it, can you relate, George? Maybe ask being Mike. Sorry, I don't know what I don't know what you're referring to there, Babs. I think. Oh, typical. You lot celebrate being in the cup while I watch my while I watch my team win it. All right. <laughs> you and you guys are struggling now, so I'm not first. We we both agreed. Any? Well, I mean, you still don't want to go out to Wickham, but we both. If there was one competition, we said we'd have, we'll sacrifice for the others. We said it would be this one. But you still can't lose to Wickham. That's still no excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're not having that. And we're not because we're going to win everything this year. We're, so. win. we're all good. We're, sweet. We're, we're sweet. we're not worried. We're not worried, Babs. Don't you worry. We're not worried. 40 minutes in. Five minutes left of the first half. Pretty much. Still 1-0 Wickham. Still, a, It's an open game, really. Pretty much end-to-end. -end. Both teams playing fairly attacking just for us. Bale's missed a couple of easy chances. And Vinicius has been offside a lot. Pretty much summarises us. Yeah. Oh, and pretty, much, yeah. The, pretty much the bar or the, or the should I say, Dangton. post. Because it was in that, it was proper in the corner. Just couldn't have fluked going in the top corner. Do you know what I mean? Like what? Just our luck, right? But, oh. fine. Oh, who was that? Was that... Winks for that pass, it was yeah, not, not a great pass from Winks, but we've got possession again. Come on, Lamella, do something! Oh, it's a shot on target, easy catch for the keeper. Pretty easy, pretty easy. For once, Lamella actually has like a normal haircut as well. What? Imagine if Liverpool beat Tottenham, it would be like Sheffield beating... In what way would that be like Sheffield beating City? You don't realise they were the holders of the Premier League and the Champions League the previous year. So, <laughs> don't know what kind of comment that was. Um, yeah, I, I can't do the minutes on the screen, unfortunately, for StreamYard. I can do it when we're in person. It's just rather annoyingly, StreamYard does not have a feature for that, which is pretty crap. So... Unless I get something that's in my room here, but they're, they're quite expensive to get like a timer. Yeah, we did look, didn't we? <laughs> well, we did say you should put an iPad up. That'd be cheaper. Yeah. Oh, would it be cheaper? Well, to be fair, we've already got one. But I don't well, if you like, already got one, I'll... I don't have like a big. I need I've like a big one to put it on because I don't have. That's what I don't have. <laughs> Foul to Wickham. All right, Wickham. We've got All right, a free kick in a dangerous area. I am highly, highly anticipating us to go into the second half 1-0. I can't, it doesn't look like we're going to get a goal this half. God, he's such a beast. Man. His, like, thighs or his legs are the size of Winks. <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine what, what I can because I've seen him in person, but Akinfem was even bigger, so... <laughs> Yeah, we believe there will be extra time, Giselle, if it's, it's a draw by 90 minutes. Just with no guaranteed no replays, that's for certain. That's for certain. It's either extra time or penalties, but I'm pretty sure in this it's extra time. I think Wickham needs to be tested for steroids because all their players look huge. <laughs> that's okay. Free kick went wide of the post. Interesting to go for goal at that angle, to be honest with you. Um, to go outside the wall. Outside the wall. Yeah. To How much I mean, are you going to bring it? To do, and he hits the side netting, but I well. think Joe Moore would have had that covered all day long. Bit of a strange one. If you're going to do that, you've got to try and go over the wall into the top right rather than... You've got to get some sort of bend on it to get it around the wall low for that to go. Okay, in. so, George, do you think there will be half-time substitutes? Oh, yeah, yeah. 1-0 down, 100%. 100%. Really? I can see at least one of Son and Kane, and I, I think it will be Son um, coming on. 
I just the question is I don't know who. It's got to be like a he won't do Lamella Willie, and I want Bale to play the whole game. Yeah, uh, Lucas. Mm, it won't be though. This is where I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean the Mella's not working for me, but that's you're not surprised to hear me oh, say that. On, one of you's got to get to it. Back heel. Is that a, it's got to be a corner again, surely? Cornered Spurs. Um, yeah, well, I mean it's either going to be Kane. Is it Dombele amongst the subs? Yeah, so I, I, that was another one I was thinking, and Dombele for Lamella maybe. Um, Vinicius hasn't really been on it today. Been offside a few times. Oh, Come on. Oh, the bar again. <laughs> No! What's that? What a chance for Jaffet Tanganga. Great ball whipped in onto his head. He was kind of underneath the bar and it hit the crossbar. How many players are hitting the bar? Been Bale, watching Bale. Our... Come on, Bow, hit it. Oh, my God. They've been watching our series too much, man. I, I think we've... Uh, I think we've got the candidate for who's going off, George. I'm not sure Bow is going to come out. Yeah, I don't think Bell. He's on. He's just about on side. Number nine's keeping him on side. Oh, was it the ball? What a that would have been a great goal for Jaffet there. Oh, he's actually in a way too close to the goal because that would have just dipped if he was slightly further out. But well, Sanchez was just behind him. If he called properly, maybe he could have left it. But you're not going to leave that though. Being a a professional footballer when it's coming right for your forehead. It's very, very unfortunate. That would have been a good time to score, wouldn't it? But, but you're you're right, man. I, I can't, as sad as it is, because he's getting the oh, chance. Yes. And he, oh, yes. He, let's he, watch the screen. Let's watch the game, George, unless people are spamming us. Oh, please, chat, please. Sorry, we're behind. I beg, I beg, I beg. He can't come off now. Chat, I love you lot. Wink. <laughs> come on, Bell. Surely. Come on, Bell. Come on, Bell. Come on, Bell. You liars. You I'm bloody gonna, liar. Uh, sorry, we're <laughs> behind, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while. Come on, please. I know we're behind, but I want to celebrate this because he's my guy. And I can't wait to do... Um Why did us up? Oh, oh, I can't get in. Is that not a mile offside? I thought it was a mile off as well. Fantastic news, though. Gareth Bale finally getting the goal. And the equaliser. I told you nothing to worry I've about. Never doubted you, chat. <laughs> I told you nothing to worry about. We said Bale's going to get the goal given the chance. Who played this? Was it Lucas again? Oh, was oh, perfectly timed yeah. run from Bale. Well Ball by well, Lucas. Well done, well done Lawrence, actually. Yeah, that was that was perfectly timed ball and run from Lucas and Vinicius, respectively. Actually, a nice finish. It's an awkward one, wasn't it? But he's done well there to beat the keeper. Yeah, 100%. I think he did pretty well there, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but that, that keeper needs shooting, or or whoever designed their kit. That kit is the most disgusting thing I've ever oh, seen. Neck is disgusting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a rainbow kit. See the future. That's how, <laughs> oh yeah, that was true actually because I it was obviously they would have seen it before us. But I think just before the real time goal, I said, "Don't worry, given enough chances, Bell will score." Yeah. <laughs> and it happened <laughs> on the spot. That is hilarious. <laughs> that was like me earlier. I was just saying, right? I'm not going to look at the chat because I don't want to see this. Oh, it says one nil on that Wickham. There we go. Sanchez is down. What's happening there? Sanchez, oh, well, he, he hit the beast. Oh, he did, yeah, he did collide with the brick wall. So I'm not. Yeah. Like that. Like yeah. That. Concussion substitution. Bring on, bring on Rodon, the boy. You, you probably have about eight players go off <laughs> when playing against that nine. <laughs> with concussion subs. All right. Once he, he's, this has got to be half time now, once we get the ball up the pitch. Yeah, regardless of performance, if that's concussion, he probably should come off anyway. Oh, that's a good ball out to Lamella if he can hold that in. Crosses it. Come on. Good ball. What's Jaffet doing up there? Oh, couldn't quite find Sissoko, but surely that's yeah, it's got to be half that's time. Half time. Now, there you go, chat. Okay, chat. We weren't worried. We told we we actually were so relaxed. We actually were relaxed. I'm never that relaxed. No, because of the way Wickham are playing, yeah, I could see that we're going to get chances and we're going to get 
opportunities Agreed. opportunities to score. Whereas when I see teams that just sit back and sit back and we and we got all the possession but we can't get behind them or anything, that's when I worry. But today we can see Wickham are they're playing too open. Um and yeah, congrats to them for, for taking the lead. And it's not gonna be the comfortable day that we hoped we'd get, but um but I think that's playing into our hands. Yeah, I agree with you totally. Totally. What I think you know what? That goal couldn't have come at a better time for Bale because I I think I was agreeing with you hundred percent. I think if he didn't score that, I think he'd be coming off at half time for, for someone like Son or Kane. Yeah, I was worried that he'd do that. I hope he gives him keeps him on and gives him the confidence. Because he's, he's got to play in this kind of game. Otherwise yeah. we the should full never game play. Well. the full game. He can't he can't he's be got to play. He's got to. He's not he's gonna play, play against Liverpool. I don't think he's even gonna come on for a minute against Liverpool. So, so for me, I think there's an obviously an argument for uh, Ndombele for Lamella. But will he risk that with Thursday coming up? That's why I think now he'll give it. I think he'll give it 15 minutes. Agreed. Agreed. Before, before he makes those changes, because um, the one substitution that could happen is Sanchez coming off, and that's not just because of the the flop for the goal. If he actually is. Concussed from that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's then different. You can't carry on. You have to sub a player in that scenario. So potentially Rodon coming on in the second half. Um, but apart from that, like you said, I think 15 minutes in is probably when we'll start seeing maybe some more changes if we haven't got the second goal. But um, I think all in all, I think we were doing all right that half. It was just that split second of lapse judgment. Um, in defence, and then obviously Sanchez for some reason back healing it straight to their oh. player. It was just that one moment. Apart from that, it's actually been fairly comfortable. Bale had three good chances before that. Um, Sissoko hit the bar. Tanganga's hit the bar. We we've been relaxed this half because, uh, like you said, they're attacking enough that it helps us massively. We can yeah. counter yeah. so easily against them. So I'm not worried. I think this team can go on can go on to win this game without the. But it's just having that. This is where we haven't got this because La Celso's injured. We've got no melee. We haven't got other creative players in there. Me, you, and I have spoken before about we think Bao actually could be when he's in the middle, it looks a bit threatening. And yeah. could he play where Lamella is at the moment? Whoa, think about and that. Goal. That goal, was it, he was in a striker's position down the middle. Yeah. So Oh, we got and, excited when he was on the right and cut in, and we were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah!" yeah, yeah I was hoping that would be it. I was no, hoping. Are you not lying? <laughs> but um, but no, I think it's it wasn't a bad first half. We just had a really bad moment that cost us a goal. Yeah, uh, and they are a physical side. I mean, we've said it throughout the whole first half, but they're, they're, all of them look so jacked up and huge, and we haven't even seen Akin Fenwa yet. So. <laughs> It's um, it, we, it was going to be a tough game, which is why I was reluctant to say like a 4-0, 5-0. Um, but I'll take a 3-1 instead. 3-1 was fine. We'll do 3-1 again. Um, Bell down the middle should be good. Good morning. Back with negativity, saying Everton <laughs> would destroy that team. Um, an Everton first team will probably do a lot. Well, we'll probably beat this team. The question is, though, it depends on what, other matches fall around that that fixture. He might still play the second team because we might have too many important Europa League and and Premier League matches by the time that game comes around. So yeah, I was gonna say, you know when that one is? When's the Everton? It's got to be if in a couple. We get through. Sorry. Well, I think <laughs> if we get through, I think is I did change the title. I think you need to refresh. It says one all on my thing. Um. I, the thing is, we've got Liverpool obviously this Thursday. I think we've got Brighton Sunday and then I think Chelsea's next week as on as like a couple of tough Premier League fixtures, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got a few tough games coming up and I think the next one's in a couple of weeks. Wow. Well, um, that's updated. Yeah, Hurricane, I agree. Bell does look hungry for some goals. Um, hence, his, <laughs> hence his chances. So... Brighton on Sunday is a weird kickoff time, 7.15. On Sunday? Is that the Brighton one? Yeah, 19.15, okay. obviously UK time. Um, actually, sorry, someone just brought up a point which... Make, Thursday. I need to raise with a goal as well, is that 
Aiden saying Toby with a massive decline in form. As much as we've actually just been badgering Sanchez for that, because obviously that was a terrible kind of clearance that fell straight to the player, that a lot of that was Toby's fault as well. Toby was marking that number nine, and that number nine brushed him off so easily to the point where yeah, Toby ended yeah. up on his knees when the ball came across. So it's as much as it's as much as his fault as it was Sanchez. And it, there does seem to be something going wrong in terms of either his way he's playing in matches or in training for the fact that Toby's now playing these matches rather than Liverpool on Thursday. And we're most likely going to see a Rodon Dyer Davis back three against Liverpool, which is interesting. I think Richard Evans has been a bit harsh here, saying Winks has been dreadful. Um, I said before, he had one bad tackle where... He no, just, he fell over one, yeah. Yeah, he hardly um, flopped it. But apart from that, I think he's actually driven forward and made forward passes a lot more than he normally does and succeeded in those passes as well. So I think okay. was very, Richard, very good. Okay, I'll, I'll counter. What has Sissoko done today? Well, yeah, I was actually going to bring that up as well. It's a fair well, point. I mean, seriously, what has Sissoko done today? I, I have no idea what his role is, what he's supposed to be doing. He's not blocking. Winks seems to have been the deeper player of the two, yet Winks occasionally runs forward. But I've seen nothing of Sissoko today. No, I agree. I, I, honestly, I've no idea. I don't know what he's meant to be doing. He would have had one deflective shot onto the onto the bar, which, I mean... Yeah. One didn't go in and two was deflection anyway. So it was a great shot, yeah. Great shot. That was probably going straight to the keeper. So, so I'm, I'm a bit, bit harsh there, but I, I'd question Sissoko today. Yeah. Um, um, hasn't got hold of the ball, hasn't run forward, hasn't blocked anything for when they've been coming forward. Yeah, they've been more physical with him and he hasn't been able to... Yeah, look, see there. That that striker totally just... Look at him. They're showing the physical challenge now. Is that Toby on him there? That's Toby on him. And he's managed yeah. to swerve him so well that yeah. that he, it's, Toby's ended up sliding on his knees. But as they pointed out there, that was poor positioning from Sanchez because he didn't even get in front of like where the player was. And then when he cleared it, cleared it to the only player leaving. And then Tanganga... Ended up being caught in no man's land, but what can he do? He was drawn in by the, the striker running in, which left the other one coming into the box open, which is nothing he could do because he had to go to the main striker that was heading towards the goal. So, yeah, the strikers have been physical as anything with our with our defence, and we've struggled a little bit. Oh, is this the head of that? Yeah, the head of that heart. Yeah, Sanchez doesn't. It was Sanchez again in court in no man's land. Doesn't even go to challenge the striker who heads it when Joe Hart makes the save. Um, a pretty decent save as well to go out for the corner. So, yeah, look, Sissoko, that, that man got left behind him as well. It's interesting. Oh, actually, the defence is definitely, definitely questionable. Um, with the Toby Sanchez partnership, definitely doesn't seem to be the one. I've got um, to say, what, what was this, their uh, centre half doing for for Bale's goal? I don't know if he was centre half or a midfielder who just stepped, stepped away from. Oh, well, no, Bale, he tried to play the offside trap, yeah. but um, just went running in the opposite direction. <laughs> just God, that goalkeeper kid, you're right, looks like a disgusting, like melted uh, ice. Block. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Long, right? yeah. <laughs> it's like all the flavors you don't want in an ice lolly mixed together is what it looks like um yeah i think like we know that i think sanchez has not had a great season for whatever reason toby yeah. seems to somehow be on a decline recently even though we normally kept clean sheets when he was playing okay uh, george i'm going for a comfort break i'll put it on mute but i can hear you so i'll hear if you're planning any Ooh, all right <laughs> <laughs> Is Sanchez actually off, guys? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off. He did have, um, he did, he apparently did seem to, he could have a concussion, but it's uh, the ad break for me now, so we'll see in a second. Thoughts on Oliver Skip? I like this, you know, Skippy boy has been, um, Skippy boy has been different, different gravy for Norwich. All I've seen is their fans like bigging him up every time. And it was, they, I remember seeing a tweet the other day saying that they, our midfield looked rubbish until Skip came on and he's won what? He's won pretty much all of their Player of the Month awards. And they're looking like they could win the championship. So I think Skip's been unreal. Um, he definitely won to potentially challenge 
Winks or maybe even be a backup to Hoiberg in, in next season, man. 100%. He looks like a very, very good player. Oh, I prefer Rodon 100% to Davidson right now. 100%. Rodon's looking good. Jaffet hasn't gone forward a lot. I wasn't expecting that. He is a centre-back turned right back for some games. Um, and I don't think we can afford for him to go up forward a lot, given given the players we have on the pitch. So I wasn't really expecting that. And actually, to be honest with you, I've noticed him on the edge of the area a lot more than he probably should be. <laughs> Remember when uh, Juve offered us 40 mil plus Regani and two other players for Sanchez? I don't know if that was an official thing or not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that was true. Well, we rigged the Twitter polls. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. But I'm talking about he won. He won the actual championship player of the month in the first in the first month for the championship. So he's clearly doing something right. And all the all the Norwich fans love him. Absolutely love him. Um, Hotspur Heart. I know you keep saying it. We've already talked about Lampard enough before the game. Hit the bar tomorrow evening from 7 p.m. with Ransom Bants. Don't worry. There will be a lot of chat about Lampard sacking, sacking and probably Tuchel's appointment. If it hasn't been announced yet, it will most likely be announced tomorrow. So we'll talk all about that then for sure. If you could sign anyone, who would it be? I think as much as everyone would love Sabitzer, and I would love Sabitzer, don't get me wrong, it does seem to me that a priority should be a top-class centre-back. You can't win anything by conceding loads of goals the way we have, almost all of them being from set pieces. And if we just had that one world-class centre-back, I think we would have been right up there and we would not have dropped as many points as we did at the end of matches. Skriniar could have been that guy. That's not going to happen now, according to Fabrizio Romano, because he's actually played an integral part to Conte's inter-team this year. So you're looking at 60 million euros at least for him now. Last year, there were talks of Ndombele being swapped with him. I'm glad that didn't happen. I wouldn't want that to happen. But, to, um, but Skriniar is just not going to happen. We're not going to shove 60 million on a centre-back when we've got five of them. So Sorry, did I hear Ramos coming in? I wish. Oh, I well, hope. So. Me, me and you have spoken for years about this. I've, I've wanted him for ages. Um, but yeah, I can't see it happening. But that's a player I would love to see. Agreed. That's affordable. I mean, the question was, who would you want? Yeah, I'll, I'll take Messi or Ronaldo, please. But <laughs> if we realistic, um, then Ramos could be a decent shout. Ramos would be great. He's got the leadership. He's got goals it's, in him. Well, he's won the lot. Like, and he's an, he's an intelligent so and so. So and so, yeah. <laughs> that uh, that Jose likes. No, I agree. I would love it, but unfortunately, again as well, that wouldn't happen until the summer, and by then it's too late. Really, you kind of need him now. Is the problem? Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think we're not going to get anyone this window at all. Even if Delhi does go out on loan, how are we going to find? We need a would need an English player to or a homegrown player to replace him. And that kind of rules out all of our targets. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I wouldn't it's gonna be a dry, dry, dry January for sure. Zakaria, I don't think we need any more. Now we've got Hoyberg. We'll have Skip coming back in the summer. Not a priority. I think a centre back and Sabitza would be the main priority. Danny Ings, I'm not sure if it's worth it anymore i think if we got him last summer yes um i just don't know it's it's, it's hard to tell with someone like ings no he's a, he's a decent player don't get me wrong we we'll, would we'll complain about getting him no um, not, not at all but then but, i just feel like personally i'd rather take the punt at vinicius because we know he can bag goals um is that hoibio coming on I think it's. Oh, wow. That's yes. interesting. Wait, so what on earth is the formation there? Sorry, oh. is he taking off? He's taking Four. off Tanganga, apparently. Well, that's what they said. Hey. They said Tanganga's come off, Hoybjerg's come on, is what they've just said. So, doing Sissoko right back. 
I, it looked like, yeah, it looked like Sosaka Rabbit. Yeah, we are a minute behind, guys. We're 50 seconds behind, to be exact. But it is the second half. It is underway. That's a bit of an intro. Um, I might be a tiny bit behind you again, Dad, just because my thing just loaded for no reason. I've only just kicked off. Hey, it's very oh, cool. Yeah, it's a circle right back. It is an interesting one. It is a very interesting one. I know he's had to fill that fill there in the past, but why? I didn't think Tanganga had a particularly bad game. No. And Soko on the defensive side is a bit of a, a bit of a stretch. So uh, what I think he's done, yeah, I think from that yeah conversation earlier, the Winston Sissoko in the middle just hasn't worked. Yeah, very true. And he's trying to find the right way of, of where he can put Sissoko. He didn't want to put Sissoko right midfield because he's got bailed out right up, yeah. right at the top. So that's probably the way that he could work it out, that he could have something a bit more in midfield. No, you're definitely definitely not wrong there. And it does sit from the brief, brief... Um, from Tanganga, but he's still playing, you know, hasn't played a lot of football recently. True, very true. Um. I do think as well, from the brief transition we've seen there, that it does seem to be on attack, Sissoko will get forward quite a bit and it turns into a back three almost, but then yeah. it very quickly becomes a back four again. And Sissoko yeah, like we were doing last season. With, yeah. Uh, Oria basically playing right wing and Davis always hanging back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it does seem to be like that again. But um, very strange, very strange. So, of course, this is one of Davis, Davis on the attack, just to prove us wrong. <laughs> who do you prefer, Upa Meccano or Canate? I love them both, man. Obviously, RB Leipzig centre-backs. The, I, I call them the French Toby and Yan. The connection the two have between them, both very, very young as well. I think they're both like 21 years old, maybe, something like that. And um, I've actually I've been I've been editing it recently. I've got an got an interview with Kanate um coming out soon. And he's okay. he, hold on, George, look up. Got anything that brings right. to one? Oh the meta shoots easy. So you're still a tiny bit ahead of me because my thing is my thing paused. So pause for two seconds and play again, please. One, two, go. They're showing the replay for me at the moment. Yeah, um, no. now keep a hand. Canate, it's hard to tell between the two. I think personally, Canate, um, I think he's a slightly bigger centre back than Obama kind of weather, but they come as a pair, really. The two are both very, very good. But I mean, everyone's looking like Upa Makano is going to go to a Bayern Munich or a big team like that in the summer. So not going to happen, unfortunately. And he just signed a contract recently, so it's going to cost at least what oh he's got a clause though, a 45 million euro clause. But I think a lot of big Big clubs are gonna are gonna challenge for that. You like the AOL animations? Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, apparently more has missed a chance inches wide. Okay. So that becomes that why you reuse that language on our chat. Forty seconds. Oh, I didn't even see it. I've got it on the side, but yeah, not not something I want to repeat. No, it's a good pass into Lamella by Lucas. Surely he's got to go back to Lucas. He does the one little roll back to him. Right foot. Oh, goes on to his left. Right again. Oh, oh it's bad. It's a good oh, effort. Good well. Good effort. He kind of went in and out on onto his left, then on back onto his right. Almost, almost kind of toe poked it or laced it into the. Yeah, gets past one. That was good to get past that. Yeah, he does toe poke it. Had to nutmeg a player and it just swerved wide the post. Very close. Very close. Very unfortunate. All right, I think Hoybio can allow to give us a little bit more solidity in, in, in midfield now that Winks and Sissoko clearly weren't really, really doing great as a pair in the first half. Sissoko mainly. Come on, Winks, driving forward. Come on, Winks. Oh, Come on, Vinicius. Nice ball to you. I always yeah. by himself. Quick, quick, quick. 
Go on, Bale. Go on through the lot. Taking them all. Oh. Oh, he actually should have pulled. He should have pulled that back to Mora. Yeah, I think he should have done as well. It was too an angle to shoot there. Um, JWS Hoybjerg came on for Tanganga, so that means that Sissoko has been pushed to right back, and it's a Hoybjerg Winks midfield. Yeah, that time he should have dragged it back to Winks or Lamella there. Ah, probably, well, probably didn't know he was there. To be fair, yeah. I that again. Still, another another chance for Bale. More goals will be coming. Definitely. You can see the Bauer hat trick coming up here. Okay. Wickham on the attack. And then now got a throw <coughs> towards the edge of our area. Looks like two is looking to launch this. Yep. Channing is in a Rory de Lap. Has he got the throw to match? Not a bad one. Not a bad one, but... Now we're on the break. Come on. Oh, oh I, thought, I thought Winks should have changed that, but we still got the ball. And then we lost it. And then we got it. And then we lost it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And well, now we got today, keeper. It's all right. Vinicius piling on the pressure. Piling on the pressure. Lumps it forward. And Sanchez does. Wow, he seems to be okay from his hand injury at the Yeah, it doesn't seem to be first half. I, I think that was probably more hope than anything for some Spurs fans. <laughs> yeah. The concussion clearly wasn't as damaging as it. Excuse me. I'll tell I've got the hiccups, sir. I'm still very intrigued by the Tanganga substitution. I get that he hasn't played too many minutes, but I, I don't think he was at fault for anything. I thought he was actually yeah. having the right game. He's just trying to find a way to get get more first teamers in the team without um, having to bail off that now because of the goal. That that was his conundrum. Yeah, he goal save, save now. <laughs> and he never wants to sub Lamella off for some reason. Yeah, can someone tell me what he does? That's good. Good link up between Ben and Sissoko. A little touch from Hoybio. Yeah, that's boy, true. he is, man. Just the way he he speaks so eloquently, like perfect. Oh, interview the other day. Unreal. Welcome. Honestly, definitely a future manager in the making. <laughs> no, I, just, I wish. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come better than that, Vinicius. Yeah, Vinicius not having the best of days today. Not having not the best. Easy. That could be a point here. Oliver Brooks saying Tanganga potentially going to start against Liverpool. I mean, that could no be chance. if <laughs> or uh, is. I know he's on the bench today, but it might be a precaution. He could be injured. Who knows? But uh, highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. I don't see that at all. In fact, I won't be surprised if he doesn't make the squad. Oh, that's where he made his debut last year and had his, and had a man of the match performance almost. Kept yeah. money in his pocket and had a goal line clearance. Another, another Wiccan player. I can just do that lollipop now, given what you said about oh. the goalkeeper's kit. <laughs> they, might, they must have done it on purpose to put off, put off opposition. Because that is a terrible kit. Matt Bloomfield is still going. He's in his 18th season with Wickham. Bloody hell. I wonder if he's a... I wonder if he's a, like a one-club man kind of situation, if that's his 18th... If that's his 18th season. Wow. Doesn't even look that old, does he? No. That's why I was surprised by that. <laughs> he might have joined them when he was young, though. It might Maybe. be a team. If they're, if, yeah, if they're skewing the stats with that, if you're starting at like the under yeah. six level or something. <laughs> come on. Okay. We'll come on. Cross it. Deliver. Gotta be. Oh, I'm gonna say. I think it kind of took a little deflection as well, but not it's enough. Did, to go yeah. Damn, man. Damn. Is Bell good? Well, Bell's having an all right game today. He's obviously got the goal. He's had a few chances. Just <coughs> a little bit more. That little bit more is needed from him. But he's having an all right game. All right. He doesn't look like someone who was the third best player in the world at one time. No, no. that, I, that He does not look like that. But he's looking better than he has been recently. Let's put it that way. 
<sighs> progress is probably the most. Any wing play, I suppose you look dangerous on that bit just before the goal he yeah. scored, and he cut in and, and ran at them. And he's had a couple of times when he run through, like just now, when he ran ran through everyone, got to the byline, and then tried yeah. to. A shot from the acute angle. That's when he's looking dangerous. Before the game, he clearly still has the footwork and the technical know-how. He just just doesn't have the pace anymore for it. And like you said before as well, he's just being a bit too reserved. He needs to just find that bit of flair again and just do it more and more and more and more. Jose, oh, big mic in, is what someone said. <laughs> Oh, young Harold Kane oh, is Harry on. Kane is coming on. That's, Dr. that's ridiculous. For because he's had a pretty yeah three four game by his standard. Come on, young young MB Harold Kane MBE. Can't wait for him to be knighted next year when we win all four competitions we're in. <laughs> Sir Harry Kane and the Euros, don't forget that. Oh, yeah, and the Euros, but you could win five trophies this year, yeah, maybe six if you count the community short after that. <laughs> uh, technically, is that for winter next year? No, oh, I mean, this year is in calendar, the calendar, year. calendar year, yeah, yeah, because they, they do, don't they do the honors at like the beginning yeah. of year or something so well we got to because surely we've got no audi cup now so oh yeah true <laughs> we'll have to have the i don't know what what would we do at spurs now the cadbury cup or something <laughs> go on Maura. come on lucas where are you going oh god, god. no that was a poor pass back to winks that and an equally poor touch from winks to try and get it back to sissoko there you go so how are right. you coming, coming on, on? I wonder who this is for. Oh, yes. Surprise, surprise. Vinicius is coming off. I don't think this is really a sacrifice. So we need another goal. We need, we need, it's as simple as that. Vinicius has not been as on point as he was against Marina. No, and it, it wasn't the best performance, I've got to say. He kept running offside. Yeah. Um, but then again, it, it's, it's not entirely down to him either. I don't think the service to him necessarily has been amazing either. No. Um, the good chances he's had is when Lucas have played great balls into him, but then that, that's that's not really happened that often. Big Mike, Thog Dad, beer review. Don't worry. When we can get back to the stadiums, we'll make that. Oh, sure. that, that is coming. <laughs> that will uh -huh. be incoming. Our matchly um, lamella foul on a player has just happened. Any bookings to go with it? Apparently not. Oh. Take a long while for Lamella to do that this game, actually. Oh, that's what's, that's another thing that's quite surprising. Who will we play? I always say Lamella from the start is a waste of time. Yeah. And come on as a sub and then be, and be an impact player. But when he starts, he just never happens. Yeah, I agree. Right. 100%. 100%. If I'm being honest, I do not remember Lamella having a great performance from when he started. In recent times, the majority of them have been that he's a player that will run his ass off. So is a great impact sub to have because you know that he will yeah. fight. Oh, what a turn, Bale! That's beautiful. Come on, this make something happen with it. Like the Bale we want to oh. see. Nearly got the ball to Kane. You got it. What's Kane oh. doing? Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. Don't get injured. Oh, he's, won, he's, won, he's won that back brilliantly. How do you win that back? Oh, that's that's <laughs> the kind of fouls I don't want to see. Please. Okay, he's okay. He's smiling. They're laughing. They're laughing. That's all right. That's all right. Kane's shirt is filthy already. Filthy. <laughs> yeah. Filthy. Yeah. That's that was a lovely double by Bale. Dirty. And he actually ran in as well and made the pass into Kane, which is the kind of the kind of move we wanted to see. Who's that? Lamella? Oh, oh, straight to the keeper. Bell free kick into the kick. Yep. Oh. Only because I heard him say, oh, you know okay. me, I haven't got my glasses on. Yeah, I wasn't. Okay. I've got a massive screen. For some reason I just assumed there was Lamella yeah. for some reason, but. 
Kane at centre back better than Sanchez. Can't disagree. Can't disagree. Kane would, uh, could 100% play centre half. 100%. You know I, I can see his career being play striker, win this, that, and the other, move to centre back towards the end of his career, and then go off to the NFL to be a kicker. Yeah. I can 100% be in that. How is. <laughs> Well, that's certainly the way he wants it, isn't it? Certainly around the... Uh, I mean, he 100% has the ability to kick. All they do is come on and kick it a couple of times a, <laughs> a, couple of times a game. Imagine that. You retire, get big money to play for New England Patriots just to kick the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Got another unit coming off of Bloomfield. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Still one or half hour to go. Oh, yeah, Caden's right. He, he loves cricket as well. What, what can't Kane do? Uh, didn't see him in the foot tennis, whatever you call it. Oh, what yeah. You, the, volley, the, volley, what would they call that? Foot tennis? Yeah. Foot it was tennis. a volley, volleyball, but football. I yeah. don't know if anyone saw that it's this like, week. It was entertaining. Right, come on, Spurs. There's all the Spanish speaking players were on one side, though. Kane's even in the chat, multitasking, as always. Always here. Come on. Uh, right. I think not going to plan at the moment, got to no. say. Substitutes yeah. just Ronaldo. We're not, we're not looking in control. We're not looking as dangerous as we did first half. Have we said that? Oh, get there. Oh, I didn't even want to. Was it calm? It's a little bit so scrappy. Well, it's getting more and more involved, which is good. Yeah, I think the goal would have helped his confidence. And now he's looking a lot better, a lot sharper. Oh, oh a bit too much that ball that time. A good idea, though, just execution not quite there. I also think he looks happier now that Kane's on the pitch and yeah, he's going to have a forward that he could you know, just connect with. Yeah, commentators are saying the same thing. Yeah. All the first fans want is just for him to re-kickstart his career. Yeah, this is, this is the, the one game he's got to... Got to thrive. Oh, if he wants to have a chance to at least come on in games like the, the one against Liverpool, he's got to prove himself. Yeah, he's got to last the whole 90 at a top level and actually perform pretty well, which I mean, he's obviously got the goal so far, but has been a lot of moments where his quality has been a bit lacking with some of the efforts. But like you said, looking a lot, lot better the last 10, 15 minutes, getting stuck in a lot more since Kane's come on. Is that Mourinho's birthday tomorrow? Must be, because he just said he's 50th tomorrow. 58th, I think he said. It can't be only 50. That, that can't be right. I must have been 58th, I think. Right. Is what he said. Makes more sense. Come on, we can't lose this game. Bergvine, Sonny and Rodon are all well warming up. You'd like to think Sonny or Bergvine come on before... Or Sun in particular comes on before. Well, he's he's going to. So we've got two more occasions when you can put subs on, and don't forget this can go to extra time as well. Yeah. But isn't that that rule that you get that like one extra sub or something with extra time, or there's something in there? I don't know. If, I don't know if that's in this because they have said five. So. The thing is, now that Vinicius is off, Lucas tends to not not assist much when he's not on the pitch, so maybe it's worth taking him off for Sun. Oh, lovely run. Oh, he's... About. Yeah, it was kind of outside oh, the nice. form. Yeah, he's beginning to beat players there. He's beginning yeah. to try and make things happen, which is good. Yeah, look, he's beaten one there. Out, uh, he tries to outside he's the foot. Tries the outside the foot across. I think he catches it more in his toe. Than he, than he was meant to because it didn't quite come round as much as it should have done. But you're right, it's good. He's taking on players now. That's what you want to see. Confidence is filling up. Nombele and Son are coming on. That's good. It's positive, positive changes. 
Yeah, I mean, this has been crying out for Ndombele, hasn't it? We haven't yeah, seen... Lamella's not done enough in that position. It's got to be for Lamella and Son. Uh, Luca, sorry. Uh, Liverpool would have been enjoying this. I'm sure we would have hoped not to put our first teamers on the yeah. on the today, but come on, if they can't handle a, a little training session, twenty five. Yeah, we, we haven't played for eight days, so they've already had some rest. Let's be, yeah. let's be honest. So, and they're not playing the four minutes now. So get them on last twenty five minutes. Get the right. goal. Don't take Bale off. Leave him on. He's the beginning to look dangerous. With the players he's bringing on. Son's got to be playing left, so that's got to be for Lucas. And Ndombele, it's Lucas. so it's got to be for Lamella. Surely can't be anyone else. And Bale's well, actually no anyone who understands football could keep Lamella on this pitch. Oh, due geez. respect. Oh, good control from Kane there. Oh, then got away with him from the tackle, but we still got it. It's all right. Yeah, it's got to be Lucas and Lamella. Got to be. Human son in the chat saying I'm coming on. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see Kane, Bale, and Son on together again. It's what Come we on, want. What we nice want to... Come on. <sighs> Don't be afraid to shoot. Oh, it's actually it's a creative ball that from Lucas. Just sadly not quite oh. the execution we need. <sighs> You got. We got to have Lamella off. Now, sure. I have it. Got to. Come on! Before we put, they put Akon Fenmore on, and he scores the winner. <laughs> well, when we filmed the part of the bus, he had he had a leg injury, so that's probably why he hasn't been starting with all the COVID recently, and I think right. in before that. So um, I would be, I won't be surprised if he doesn't come on. So uh, yeah, I agree with this. Come on, say we've got to keep moving the ball. Yep. Come on, Winks. Oh, terrible ball, Winksy. Yeah, it was a poor ball. Better. Yeah, it's actually this decent bit of football. It's. Come on, Lucas. Make something happen. You're going to be taken off soon. We think. Yeah. Kane on the ball. Can he work some magic? Ah. Oh. Decent ball. Put right. it into a dangerous area. Just no one, no just one. Just need a chain there to, to be on the other end of it. We were correct. Lucas for Sonny. Lamella for Lamella for Ndombele. It had to be. There's no way it could have been anyone else. Yeah. Given it had to have been. So I'm happy to see that. I feel like the way that um, Wickham have been playing, this feels like it could be a good game for Sonny to come on. Counter attack because I've noticed a lot in those past 10 minutes. Lucas and Lamella seem to have a lot of space on that left hand side. And if Sun and Ndombele can exploit that space with the higher quality that they have, you'd like to think we can get a goal through them. Nice. But... We have got Ndombele, Bale, Kane, Sun. Yeah. Come on, guys. Hoyberg on more of the defensive side. It's actually only Soko Sanchez and Toby that are worrying me in this in this lineup. The ball should be this morning, I, honestly. I, I swear to God, I no disrespect, but you've had some bad takes today. Why did we take Lamella off? He's been one of our best players. What have you been watching? Apart from running around, Lamella you know has been watching today. I've I've deliberately tried been trying to hold back because um, I do slag him off quite a lot. But genuinely, I've no idea what he did today. There's, there's no terrible. Lot. Oh, I just we can't be the type of club that rates a player off of work rate alone, because that's not going to get us anywhere. <laughs> we need winners with quality, and that's I why we one through ball that he did, and he's a player today that's supposed to be doing the through balls. One chance that he's created. Yeah. Oh, and he's saying the shots on target, which were literal, like... Oh, the hold it along the floor for the keeper to pick up. He's not been made. That's an, it's an agenda you've got for him. There's, he's not been... I, in, in the same breath, I'm not like... He's not been terrible, because that's, 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 that's just not true. But he's 
not done anywhere near enough to warrant staying on when we right. need to score goals. Oh, oh what? Oh, oh, oh go in. Three. Wow, happened in slow motion. I thought Davis hit that way too hard, and I thought that was going to go yeah. away. From him. Somehow Kane managed to actually get control of it, but couldn't quite finish it off. Uh, oh, anytime Hoiberg has a shot from there, you just know it's not going to go. Yeah. You just know it's not going to go in. But my word, what a chance! I mean, I don't really blame Kane for that because he was totally off balance. Oh, no, rocketed at him. It was rocketed at him. The fact that he even controlled it in the first place was quite astonishing for me, to be honest with you. So, like, to control yeah. that and try and beat the keeper, I mean, good save from the keeper there, man. That is so close. Ah. Oh. If only Davis didn't put the ball in as hard as he did because the control from him there was unreal given the, the pass in by Davis. Man. Someone saying, uh, is Akin Fenwick coming on for Wickham? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Time to finish it on. <laughs> We've got the whole squad in the chat. Yeah, that's right. Michael the Gamer. I do indeed. 20 minutes left of the match. Still 1-0. We've got close to our first team on, except for in defence. Defence is pretty t much totally different. But George, I've just uh, uh, texted you something if you want to share it on the... Akin Fenwa, the beast. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I need to. Oh, do you not have it on your computer? No, I do. I need to. I didn't know what you were sending. I need to save it first. Right. The you unit of beast. Adebayo, Akin Fenwa is coming on. All oh, right. <laughs> Thankfully, he's taken the nine off. You can imagine the pair of them. <laughs> well, it's one unit for another, so. <laughs> you become his mentor, apparently. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised with the size of the both of them. I mean, it makes too much sense. <laughs> oh, here you go. This is what this is what Dad sent in. That is the goalkeeper. That is the <laughs> what the goalkeeper, goalkeeper looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you are not wrong. Oh, that's what I said earlier, but what, well, what, what you said, but every time I've looked at it, I've gone, that yeah, is well, exactly well, it. Well. <laughs> Guys, that is the uh, the Wickham goalkeeper kit. Get it in store now. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Come on, Spurs. Oh, Here yes. comes Sonny. Look, 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 Come on, Sonny. That actually looks tasty. Here we go, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. Step overs onto his left. Oh, just oh, pass. That's gone oh, wide at the post as well. Okay, come on. We're getting through. We're getting through. We just need to okay. just need that final shot. But now the first the first attack is on. Come on. I'm a lot closer than I realized. That, that... It's because it's curling away. Oh. Damn. Damn. Two goals in the last two FA Cup games for Sonny. Yeah, and he normally comes on like this. So, yeah, exactly. not as if he plays from the start. Okay, come on. Uh, it's... It's made it to Soka, but there's, where's the support, though, is the question. He's got it to Winks in the middle. Oh, Winks. He's got, oh, to find nice. He's got to find Sissoko I can't again. get excited about Sissoko being down there. Sorry, on the right wing. <laughs> So I was saying, man, Mark, I can feel my man's built like a brick. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm saying it's not looking very entertaining. I don't know why. You shouldn't be happy. One all win. One all with 15 minutes to go, pretty much. A regular time. Looking it's like... Extra time. I think it's, yeah, it's extra, it is extra time. Looking like extra time at the moment. But I did also say in the first half that I didn't see us scoring a goal before half time, And we did. So hopefully I'm going to say it again. Looking like it's going to go to extra time. And the hope that Spurs actually get a winner. Did no, we're going to get another goal. We're going to get another two goals, George. Akinfenwa is the Hulk. But I think, luckily, I think the number nine that was on before him is quicker than him. Are they playing badly? No, we're not playing badly. Just not, 
not necessarily top tier. Yeah. <laughs> but we've only just brought on like our main first team is like Kane, Son, and Ndombele are on now. So would we expect a lot more now? Ah, oh, it's a poor Toby. Toby. Oh, terrible, terrible pass by Toby. Yeah. See, Bale seems to have come in pitch more since Kane's come on. Yeah. As wide as he was. With, with Sissoko coming further forward on the right-hand side. Uh, how long is that keeper allowed to hold the ball? <laughs> no, it's, uh, my, my friend confirmed there is extra time. So there is extra time. Good morning. Goes to extra time and then pens. No replays. So hopefully... Hopefully we do a Man City and just get a couple of goals at the end and just see yeah, how we want to Relax, guys. You need to chill. Especially with Sonny looking dangerous. Sonny looks like he just wants to skip past everyone, which is fantastic to see. Hey, Dallas, Texas in the house. Common you Spurs. Welcome. Welcome, any international fans. Yes. Bring on George. He could do a good job on Akin from one. No chance. I met him in real life. That is not <laughs> happening. Not happening. You need big <laughs> Mike for that job. We need big Mike. Reckons, reckons Ndombola is going to get the winner. He has done very well recently. I think Sonny's going to get the winner, to be honest with you. Sonny, Sonny. Sonny to be a bit yeah. on it. This is the kind of opponent in the style that the opponent's playing that really helps him to, to get forward and get some goals. So I'm expecting a, a Sonny winner from me is what I'd say. I feel so much more confident when people like Undombele and Kane play in. It just unlocks every everyone so much better. Like, look at Bale. Come on, step over one, two. Kane, can oh, he get a Doesn't that time try to be a corner to Spurs? He was probably looking for where Sonny is to try Actually, and deliver it. Like Mark, Arizona. Come on. Spurs. Come on. Come on Spurs. We are going to score. Believe. We're going to score. It's, it's fine. Believe. We said it first half. We've been relaxed. It will happen. Again, I haven't seen that chat that tells us we just scored. Oh, God's sake. Oh, I'm miles over everyone. <laughs> okay, look back at the chat. I reckon Wickham are tired now, says Toxic Gamers. You know what? It does seem that way because they're not attacking anywhere near it with as, oh. as, a, as much intent as they were. Um, in the first half and earlier in the second half. A goalkeeper kit is just making me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Kane Hatchin incoming to uh, Caden Reckons. Take a Kane one goal would do. <laughs> look, look, I, I spoke to Adebayo when we were doing the shoot. I said, look, if we play against you, just, you know, we're just relax. He's up on us. No, no need to knock us out, man. It's all right. Oh, there he is. Wickham just wants a time, so they're holding back here. Yeah. Oh, God, he nearly nutmeg Sanchez, the number 23 there. <laughs> oh, a bit of a heavy touch from Kane, but... Wickham are still playing that dangerous game. They are still attacking us, which must mean we're getting space, guys. Surely, surely. Come on. They're playing so dangerous, given the... Given the players we have, oh, what a touch! Tongue. Oh, shame the shame the ball wasn't as good, but that touch was beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Look, we said it here first. If we hit 1k likes, we'll score. That's what Sonny said. Akinfemwa versus Big Mike is the next one. That, that could be that could be a bit of a challenge. That one. That's close. That's close. At what? <laughs> I'll play with darts. <laughs> yeah. These footballers love darts. Come on, whip that in. What? Uh, oh, okay. I mean... Okay. Winks thought he was still on the halfway line to shoot them. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have wanted... The one player, really, you don't want shooting from there. Strange, strange move, but... That's an interesting corner. He, just so, he just did not get over it at all. Oh, they're showing the Undombele right. touch. The touch is so graceful, it's unreal. Big Mike will have him, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, bring it on. I'm seeing, Come on, people, I'm seeing people saying Sonny missed. Look, we're getting forward enough. Come on. Surely we've got to get a chance. Played on. Lovely flick over from Bell to Sissoko. Strength. Sonny. No, Sonny. No, 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 no. You can't miss those chances. 80th minute. Come on, guys. We do not want extra time. Bale, lovely flick to Sissoko. Sissoko, great strength. Passes it to a free, Sonny. You cannot hit that. that moment. Terrible. Even on your right foot, son. Come on, man. Come on, man. Again, are they saying Sonny's doing yeah, it again? That, that clock is going too quick. It is. All right. How many chances we're going to miss today? We did say before the game, well, actually, I don't know if I said it on here, but we said it on, we actually said on a phone call um, earlier. I was saying we need, we need Sun and Kane to be on it for us to be, for us to be playing well. And it's a shame where all of our players are missing these key chances. I appreciate that. We've had the bar twice. We've had Bale miss a header. We've had Bale miss a long distance. We've had Sunny just miss that chance. We've had Tanganga hit the crossbar. Oh, so man. The crossbar. We've had so many chances. Just have not been able yeah. to. Play well, we, yeah, we haven't been playing really well. <laughs> uh, we had those chances. But the thing is, given the level we are compared to Wickham, you expect us to have those chances. Yeah. So then you've got to start looking at the quality of chances, and we're just not taking it, man. We can't be missing those sitters. Uh, here you go. That's good. Come on, you've got to deliver that into Kane. Oh. Tom G, what was that shot as well? Hey, that was awful. I expect better from everyone. What is going on? Okay, I think the players are beginning to feel the nerves that we are now. Yeah, I've been relaxed up to this point, and now I'm looking at that clock, and there's only eight minutes to go, plus a bit yeah, of a new time. moving too quick. <sighs> um, too quick. Oh, someone's saying, Holy, don't do this to us, please. Someone said an 80 second minute goal, so no fake scores. <laughs> okay, no, it doesn't look like it. You can tell it's an actual goal when like everyone in the chat like goes ham on it <laughs> that's when you can tell there's an actual goal whereas clearly not if any one or two people do it mods i'm gonna need you if the mods are about i'm gonna need you guys on it for for blocking any fake scores just because obviously we're, we're a bit behind but we appreciate everyone in here chilling and hanging out fa cup currently one all seven minutes to go less than seven minutes to go but the quality we have on the pitch, you'd expect us to, to get a last minute winner before the, before any extra time. Appreciate that, Caden. Appreciate that, Spence. Oh, it's Inter versus AC Milan tomorrow. Interesting fixture. AC Milan, of course, signing Tomori from Chelsea. Do they still share the same ground? San Siro is being knocked around. San Siro is being, they're moving grounds. I know they're moving it, but. That I don't know, actually. I don't know if they're building two separate ones or if they are sharing again. That I don't know. Someone in the chat might be able to help with that one. We do, we do. Oh, can you do me a massive favor? Could I have some? I remember on one stage there was talk about Spurs and Arsenal were sharing a ground. Come on. Come on. Oh, too far, too far. Toby's long balls have not been on point. Have not been on point today. Yep, there was there was talk that Spurs and Arsenal would share ground at Alexandra Palace. <laughs> serious, serious. That was before, obviously, they built the Emirates. But there was serious talk about that. I just don't understand how teams like Inter and AC can do it because I just could not imagine sharing a ground with your rival. That is so. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. you know he wants to go last. <laughs> no, no what minute is it? Well, we're in the 80, well, about 85th minute. We've got all the possession. Wickham have not attacked anywhere near as much as they normally do. Harry so, Kane, come on. Kane. Tongi, oh, that's Tongi was by himself towards the back post. Kane just couldn't quite get the ball across to him. Oi, oi, oi. 
Oi, oi, oi. It's coming. It's coming. Don't yeah. worry. We don't want extra time. We just don't want the extra Premier minutes. League, the good Premier League sides score at this time. In the next five minutes, they will score. <laughs> please, come on. Oh, everyone's saying, Harry, come on, please. I beg. Oh, we Oh, saying, oh, please, all oh. right, keep an eye on, keep an eye on, because more than one person oh. in the chat. Don't be silly, he's miles away. Yeah, how's Winks going to score from there, chat? Are you lot on drugs? Yeah, oh, way line. Very cool. Ball. He can't do it. <laughs> right, <laughs> it what happened. Come on, me up, everyone. Come on, Ndombele on the ball. Where's that going? Flicks over to Kane. Oh, what a ball! Kane. Come oh, on, saves. back across, oh, no. back out. <laughs> Wixie! Yeah! Oh, there you go! What the finish, Wixie boy! I didn't do that, anyone. Yes! So they, they already know. Oh, yes. What yes. a... We were relaxed the whole time. Wixie's trying to win the FA Cup on his own. Yeah. All the cups. Wixie, my boy. Yeah, onside. Just about how oh, they leave yeah. Harry Kane on his own. Some fans don't rate him. Some fans do. I used to love him this season. A bit iffy, but he scored twice now, and that is a tasty finish. An absolutely it was wrong foot as well. Is that left foot he did that? Oh, my God. They're saying 3-1 and Dombele as well, apparently. What is oh, going on? Hold on. Did not say that. Did not say we'll get we'll win 3-1. You don't no, need to relax. Yeah, people can see it before us. What time did Wink score? I'll oh, just put the 86 or something like that. 86. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> on the counter. Come on. Lovely switch to oh, Sonny. There's one. I'd give it on Dom Dombele. Give it on Dombele. That's it. Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Undombola. Dad, was that you that said it? Undombele was going to... Some people in the chat were saying as well that Undombele was going to get the winner. No, oh. I love you. I'll take the credit though. <laughs> we said three one. I said you lot need to read uh, the eighteenth minute. I still said we're going to win three one. We, we we were saying it was going to be like Premier League sides do it in the last last ten minutes. They they were knackered. You can tell they weren't attacking with yeah. it when. Yeah. So, um, it was it Sun that passed it to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah it would be Sun Sun assist. Oh, oh you. In the camera. Oh. <laughs> Relax the whole game. I was we were not worried, even if it was one or in the 83rd minute or whenever or 85th minute. The only time we started it's a not even panic, but 80th minute we're kind of going, then well, come on, clock stopped going so quick. 